Thank you for calling my apartment. This is Jessica. Hey, Jessica. Uh, this is Lieutenant Tug Pendleton. I'm calling you from the International Space Station up in space. You know, no, you're not. Yeah, I am. What are you talking about? No, I'm not. Why would I lie about that? <laughs> How can I help you? Uh, well, I dropped a socket wrench. I was doing a spacewalk, and I think it landed in the like the courtyard area of your apartments there. Could you go check? Seriously? Yeah. I know. I'm sorry. It's so inconvenient. It's like a it's like a standard size socket wrench, and it um it says property of NASA on it. It's like a, stamped on it. This isn't a joke? No, not at all. I, why would I joke about this? Oh, it, because it just totally sounds like a joking phone call. Oh, no, 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 ma'am. No, not at all. It's just, uh, <laughs> you, it, it's like property of NASA. I don't think, you, you know, like, I, I don't want someone to pick it up and it ends up on eBay. It's like oh, okay. made of titanium and yeah. <laughs> got probably okay. space radiation um, on it. Yeah, I'll have to just do a, do a walk around, walk around my premises. Okay. And then how can I reach you to oh, let hold. you know that I found it? I can hold. Oh, it's going to take me longer. It's four buildings on this property. Oh, I see. Okay. It's probably glowing. You know, it's been through space. It survived the, the re-entry and everything, and it's probably mm -hmm. red hot and, and is uh, radioactive. But it's not dangerous. Okay. It's just radioactive. Don't, 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 okay, so don't. obviously don't touch it. Oh, no, you can touch it. Maybe, maybe just uh, pick it up with a handkerchief or something. Um, okay. All right. I, I could just call back, like, um, I don't know, like an hour or something? Um, yeah, maybe like in 20 minutes or so, that should be just fine. Okay. Well, thank you so much for checking, ma'am. Yeah, and what's your name again? Uh, my name is Lieutenant Tuck Pendleton from the International Space Station. Okay. Well, you guys can really zero in then and see where things fall then, huh? Yeah, yeah. I, I was looking through binoculars, and I can see straight down there, and I saw that it landed. It's, like, right in the middle of the buildings. Like, how the buildings are arranged is kind of, like, right in the center, kind of. Okay. Um, yeah, give me... Uh, so it's okay to touch it even though it's radioactive? I don't know if I feel comfortable. Oh, no, it's a different kind of radiation. No, it's fine. Oh, okay. It, it's like the kind of radiation that you get from turning on, on an incandescent light bulb. Okay. <laughs> so it's fine. It's fine. It's probably all cooled off by now anyway. <laughs> okay, I'll go uh, take a look, and if you just want to give me a call back in 20 minutes, I'll let you know if I found it. Okay, 20 minutes. Thank you so much, ma'am. Yeah, you're welcome. Oh, what was your name again? My name's Jessica. Okay, thank you so much, Jessica. Yep, bye. Bye. Thank you for calling my apartment. This is Jessica. Hey, Jessica. It's Lieutenant Tug Pendleton again from the space station. Yeah, hi. Hey, did you happen to find that socket wrench? I did not at all. Oh, man. Huh, okay. Yeah, unless, yeah, and I, and I walked every, you know, around all of our buildings. Yeah. Unless you can let me know exactly where you're seeing it, then I can go see it. Oh, uh, we've, we've, uh, at this point we've passed by, so I can't even look down there anymore with my binoculars, but it seemed like it was out in the middle. I wonder if maybe a resident found it and picked it up. Maybe you, yeah, could, I, I, maybe you could send out not, emails or a poster or something, like ask all the residents if they found NASA's socket wrench. <laughs> um, it says I, I, Yeah, I, <clears throat> I looked around and just didn't, didn't see anything. Okay, well, you know, if, yeah. if it turns up, do you think you could give me a call back at the number on your caller ID? Um, I don't have a caller ID. Oh, okay. Well, I have the number here. Okay. Um, it's uh, area code 321. And then uh, uh, the phone number is 420-6969. That, that's the direct line to the space station. Just ask for Tuck. Oh, okay. Um, when you were looking down, did, um, it wasn't in a parking lot. You said it was in the grass. Yeah, I thought it was in the... It looked like grass from up here. Yeah, okay. Because, I, yeah, I checked all of my grass areas. Yeah, it's hard to tell because from space, grass is blue, and, and parking lots are more of like a, a green-gray. So it's, it's hard to tell oh. the difference sometimes. Okay. Okay, well, th um, thank you so much for yeah. looking. I really appreciate the help. Oh, yeah, you're welcome. Sorry I, I couldn't locate it oh, for it's, you. it's no problem. E either way, <laughs> you've, you've served your country, and we're very <laughs> proud of you. <laughs> okay, well, have fun up in space. Okay, thanks. Have fun <laughs> down there not being in space. It must be boring. Okay.
<laughs> Bye. Bye. Pendleton away. Cactus. 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 ELA Radio. Cactus. 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 PLA Incorporated. Cactus. 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 PLA Radio. Cactus. 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 Wellnesses of America. You're listening to the Snowplow Show. Today is October 14th, 2018. And this is episode 504. It's a live show. And it's brought to you by Stan Trucker. Cody No Name, B.I. Eber for Life, Tokus Pocus, and Wolfatin. Those are the five people that you can blame for everything that goes wrong in this live show. Don't blame me, blame them, because they're supporting this show on our Patreon, and I probably wouldn't be doing this if it wasn't for people like them. So it's all their fault. Before I start the live show that happened earlier today, have you heard about the PLA meetup that's going to happen in Northern California? This coming March 2019, I think in the past I've said it's March 2018, that's because I'm stupid, sorry. It's March 2019, there's an event page for it on Facebook. This one is organized by Laugh Track Matt and Zax. They usually do a European PLA meetup every year, but this year, for whatever reason, they've decided to have the European meetup in California. It's going to be in San Jose on March 16th. So far, a lot of people say they're going to show up to it. I think this one could be bigger than our meetup in Chicago, which was, I don't know, 25, 30 people. I can't remember. There's a lot of people there, though. It is a lot of fun. So be sure to check that out over on the Facebooks. If you're not on the Facebooks, then I don't know. I guess we need to set up a meetup announcement page on some other, I don't know, is there like an events type thing for Twitter? I don't think there is, but maybe there is we got to put it up somewhere for all those people who've joined the Quit Facebook movement because they're so surprised that a social media network company would sell their information like everyone else isn't doing it. I still don't know if I'm going to be there. I'll probably be there. I plan to be there. I'll do my best. Dwight would like to be there, but he has no money because he just spent a bunch of money going to Chicago. So I think everyone should be supporting Dwight's new Patreon page. He finally made a Patreon, patreon.com slash Dwight PCN. I'll put a link to that in the show notes too. If you want to meet Dwight and have him slap you upside the head with his mop, then support his Patreon. He puts up extra videos and shows and stuff on there. It's totally worth it. And as long as we're talking about other people's Patreons, you should also be supporting the Madhouse Patreon, try and get Carlito out there, because he also blew a bunch of money going to Chicago, and he'd kind of like to come to California and hang out with us all. And I was hanging out with Olga and King Richard and I Regret Jumping this past weekend, and they're all talking about trying to make it too, so I'm sure it couldn't hurt to also support Olga's Patreon, patreon.com slash Olga Draws Dragons. That's where you can get exclusive issues of the PLA Corporate Office comic strip, which I don't know how many has been done now, but quite a few of them. I should steal one of the graphics and make it today's show art. Maybe I will. Me and Olga got pranked by Carlito while we were hanging out at Powell's Books in Portland. It was a bunch of bullshit. We were walking around. Someone pages Brad and Olga to go to a certain desk, so we do. And and listen to this. Hello. I'm Brad. Hi. And I'm Olga. I uh, just got a call from somebody named Dr. Cross. Okay. Who asked you to call him. Uh, Fucking Cross. He gave a phone number. It's to about reach out. the cactus. It is about the cactus. Um, yeah, he said it was very important, and he left this phone. Okay, we're going to call it. Thank you. Thank you very much. It's, it's the cactus. So me and Carlito, we talk about this a little bit on today's live show. He said he actually told that lady I was in line for a liver transplant and a liver donor had opened up or something like that. And my life depended on her passing along this message. Carlito's kind of a dick. Maybe you shouldn't support the Madhouse Patreon. After all, just support Dwight's and Olga's. I'll put a link to that video, though, in the show notes if you want to see it. The audio I just played is actually from a video. You get to see that lady at the desk reading the message to us. Apparently, he didn't think King Richard or I Regret Jumping was important enough to prank. Just me and Olga. Anyway, let's get started with today's live show. Here it is. It's a really long one. Enjoy it. Guess what? Corey Haim and Corey Feldman are giving out their personal numbers. If you call 1-900-909-3700, you can listen to their private phone messages and get their personal number where you can leave them a message of your own. $2 the first minute, 45 cents each additional minute. Ask your parents before you call. 1-900-909-3700. If you call me right now, I'll give you my private number. Um, you call that number and you'll hear a recording and I'll give you my personal number if you call that. Um, 
and we'll wrap. Uh, Carlito said he had to reboot his PC or something. He's trying to get his... He wants to do the helicopter sound, which I don't think is totally important, but... If we do this way, we'll sound totally legit. Like, hi, everyone. I'm calling from a helicopter. Oops, I dropped shit on your house. Sorry. That'll fool them all. Anyway, thanks, everyone, for uh, showing up in the Mixler. Like, uh, Scooter and Aries and Mr. Biggs and Buckshot, Dexter, Bentley, and you motherfucker you, and the Danger Dave, and Izzy PHX, and all for the Caramel, and Brian Wash, and Stallman, and Resting Beach Face, Beaches, and uh, Eggsin and Crucified X, and Squirrel Power, and Dixie Normus, and Evil Ideas, and especially Total Second, and Sam Wheeler. And Butinator 34, and it's me Cheech, and Anchor Hansen, and Wasted Memory, Schmanky. I'm gonna fly over Schmanky's house so we can wave it. Oh, there's Carlito. Hey, Carlito. Uh, we're we're uh, we're we're gonna do the helicopter show today. Me and Carlito, we're gonna take rides around in helicopters. We're gonna fly yep. over people's houses, and we're gonna call them up. And I don't know. Um, Danger Dave says we need to say that we were you were smoking weed and Carlito dropped his bong in their yard. Yeah. <laughs> it's a very important bong. Yeah, it's an expensive one. I wonder if it broke. <laughs> no, it's a plastic bong. So yeah, what we're doing is we're gonna we're gonna turn on the helicopter sound effect noise. Can you hear that? Yes I can. Okay. And um Thank you. <laughs> but um I, I try to get some some like warning alert sounds like we're crashing uh this, okay. this is the best i could find <laughs> that, that works no, hold on there's it. one the, the helicopters usually have one that's like a boing boing yeah that's that's what i heard in movies yeah well uh someone in uh the chat suggested i just use the lost computer tones so like okay. just do this <laughs> <laughs> it's wait okay it's funny <laughs> but if i if i combine them I don't know. Whatever, though. Anyway, um, yeah, I'm going to call the first number. Hopefully people answer today. <laughs> Was that you looking for one? Yeah, well, that's uh, that's my fire alarm. <laughs> my Your real fire alarm? Yeah. No, I'll have a... Yeah, like Schmanky's saying, it just sounds like a smoke detector, that one that I was using. Kind of does. I've got two big lists ready I think one's a homeowners association. This one is people who are running for office in a certain state. Like this supposed to be aircraft cabin noise I'm playing. I don't know if it even makes it through. George. Hey George, uh, this this is uh, Steve from uh, Fox News. We're in the chopper above your house right now. <laughs> okay. Are, are you home right now? Uh, I'm not. Okay, I'm the pilot. Um, my Carlito, he's the one actually doing the uh, the traffic report today. That's me. That's Carlito. Um, we've just been flying around the neighborhood, though. Uh, he dropped his bong out the window, and it landed in your yard. Is there any way you could... So you're not home to go check for that? Yeah, we just want to what did you, lower, lower what, down. What did and you drop out? Maybe you just hand it to us. A marijuana uh, bong. <laughs> Oh, that's pretty good. Well, no, I'm completely serious. It's it's not made out of glass. It's out of that stuff, you know, not plastic, whatever it's called. Uh, so it probably didn't break. But there's probably a bong in your yard. Hey, not not a problem. It, it wouldn't be the first time. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> good one. It happens all the time. Yeah. Okay, guys. All right. Hey, bye, George. Have a great day. Yeah, you too, I guess. Bye, asshole. Thanks for ruining our very first call. What a dick. We we, we both forgot to turn on our uh, sound effect voices things. No, oh, mine's supposed to be on. Really? It's not working? Oh, wait. Mis Mr. Biggs says the engine must have died. Maybe my uh, helicopter noise wasn't very loud. Oh. Uh. Can, can you guys in the chat room hear this? It's on. Whatever. Let's just call the next people. But yeah, we didn't turn on our our our, our, our voices either. Well, mine's supposed to be on. Is it not working? That's uh, it's just not. Damn. You just sound normal. 
Oh. oh crap. Well, that, that sounds really bad. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck it. We don't need those. We just we just nah, need we, the, don't need we just need the chopper sounds. Yeah. Crank it up to the chopper sounds. Hello. Hi, uh, Marissa. Yes. Uh, this this is Roy. I'm with Fox Two News. We're we're in a oh, we're in a helicopter right now. We're right above your house. Are you home, ma'am? Um, yeah, but I don't know how you know where we live. Oh, it's in our records. Uh, we're we're right above Drive. Um. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so my pilot, um, his name's Carlito. He's here with me. Are are you on the mic, Carlito? Carlito? Oh, he's just kind of spacing out. I don't know what he's doing. Anyway, we dropped something in your yard. Okay. Are, are you there to go out and check? I'm here. Hello? Um, yeah, I can send my kids out. Okay, well, I don't know if you want to send your kids out. We dropped something in the yard. Can you just go check and see if it's in there? What is it? Uh, it's, it's a bong. Okay. All right. Is there anything else you need? Well, can you go check for us? Um, no. I'm sorry. Why not? Please. Yeah, okay. I think maybe we should give up on the whole bong idea. Yeah. Danger Dave, that was the dumbest idea ever. Like Stupid Danger don't, Dave. Don't give us stupid ideas like that. What do you think you're doing? How's this sound? This is called Adafinal. <laughs> Uh, it's very, very echoey. Okay. I don't know how that's supposed to be an astronaut. This is a pretty exciting helicopter ride so far, though, isn't it? Yeah. It's a great day for a helicopter ride. I like how nobody's believing us. Yeah. Someone wants me to say we're, we're delivering packages from the helicopter. We're going to drop it on their porch. I want to say that we, we were throwing nickels at their property, like trying to hit things. Jeez. I can sort of hear your radio noise in the background. Uh, is that bad if it's too much? Oh, no, no, it's not. not sounds not great. Helpful. I dropped... Uh, Butinator wants me to say we, drop, we dropped our wedding... I dropped my wedding ring. Oh, man. We got to do more realistic stuff. People aren't buying the bong thing, though. I dropped my Kenny Loggins CD. Tell me you dropped a Rottweiler. You reached Jason. Dropped my what? Rottweiler. <laughs> It got stuck in that piano in your yard. Yeah. It's bearing its teeth. Tell them you're lost, and you need them to light fireworks like on Flight of the Navigator. Yes. <laughs> you know, I, wanted, I, wanted to see that. I was reading on that movie recently. Yeah, that's, that's a great movie. movie. They're going to remake it's got, that. It's got Paul Rubens in it. Yeah. They're supposed to remake it. Hello, Dale. Oh, hello, Dale. Hello, Dale. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay, it's hard to hear you. We're in a helicopter right now. We're above your house. This is Brad from Fox 2 News. Dale? Yeah. Okay, we're, we're flying above your house right now. I'm in the helicopter with Cross. Are you home? No. Oh, is there anybody home right now? No, why? Uh, there's just a small problem. Um, I guess if you're not home, though, we'll, we'll just we won't worry about it. Can we land What's on your property, please? No. Just on, well, just on the roof. This is a. We have an emergency, and by law, F FAA laws, you're supposed to let us land. Who is it? The, my name's Brad, and that's Cross. Cross is the pilot. Captain Cross. Yeah, Captain Cross, and. We're just going to straddle the roof. Do you think your roof will hold? It's not very heavy. Goodbye. <laughs> right, bring it down. All right, maybe. My voice should be changed. It's still not. Oh, yeah. I think, I think it is a little bit changed. I, I guess I should Good. turn mine on, too. Yeah, let's do it. All right. Make yeah. this realistic. Yeah, this is the best I can do, but Captain Cross. Let's say, let's say let's ask people if we, can, we need to tell them we have an emergency we need to land. Maybe not an emergency. Hey everybody, I'm I'm a female pilot, Carol. Just say you gotta take a <laughs> shit. <laughs> Tell them you're the pilot and I'm, I'm a VIP and I need to take a shit. 
Yeah, you're just gonna stick your ass out the helicopter and. <laughs> you're just gonna land, and I'm gonna do it. I don't have to go inside. Just do, do it right, right on their lawn. This lady's name is Janet Jackson. Yeah, really? You think it's the Janet Jackson? Maybe. She's a Democrat. It says. I heard you Michael have Jackson reached the voicemail box of two. What's that? I heard Michael Jackson didn't die. He just became Janet Jackson. Yeah. Oh, is Janet still alive? I, I don't even know anymore. <laughs> yeah, Janet. Yeah, 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 She's pregnant, or she just had a baby. She had fifty something, I think. Uh, wait, what's the female that died? The, the Latoya? Is she dead? Uh, Michael. I thought one of the sisters died too, though. I don't think so. The dad just died. Joe, Big Joe. Uh huh. Yeah. Latoya's been dead to them for like decades, though. She was in Playboy, and I, just, I, I had that one. I was like 12. <laughs> and I, you know, you know what I did? What'd you do? Yeah. You know, looked at it. Uh, well, well, what'd you do while you looked at it? Uh, buy it off hump, some couch, couch cushions, you know. <laughs> See, what you do is you take the cushions off the couch, you put them on the ground, on the floor. <laughs> Yeah. Your call has been forwarded. Then you install a belt sander in, in there, yeah. like underneath the couch. Yeah. I heard some guy I'm died about, doing I'm that. I'm all about hands free masturbation, too. <laughs> Mount Joy has given us a link to Vietnam radio chatter from helicopters. Oh, fuck yeah, Vietnam. <laughs> or should I be watching in the PLA one, right? The PLA. Um. Chat? PLA Discord? Chat. Oh, yeah, yeah. Mixler.com slash phone losers. Hi, this is McGilvery. Sorry. So, not the Discord. Uh, and the Mixler. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Mixler.com slash phone losers. That's the main chat room. I mean, that's the only. Well, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm sort of watching the phone losers Discord channel, but not really. It's not very active today. It's usually very active. Yeah, it's on the same screen, though. So, I can sort of okay. see it. They're not talking about our show, so screw those guys. This reminds me of, um, oh, fucking SimCity 4, the old one that I still play <laughs> a lot. Because it constantly has a helicopter sound effect all the fucking time. Uh, hey, we should call up, we should call up that one guy, uh, you know, package delivery UPS guy. Oh, Chris. the lawyer. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you want to give him a call? Yeah, should we not be in a helicopter then? <laughs> we could say, "Hey, we're we're with Amazon. We're dropping a package off yeah, yeah, on yeah. your porch." Yeah. <laughs> He's probably not going to pick up. I, I don't know. Should we do that, or should we just be uh, UPS again, or FedEx, uh, or whatever it was? Uh, it was UPS. Yeah. Yeah, let's do it. Fuck it. See if it picks up. Okay. That was fun. Let me uh, kill my voice. Hello. Hello, Mister. Yes. Uh, th this is uh, Professor Roy. I'm in a helicopter right above your house. I'm with Fox 2 News. And, uh, yeah, I'm we sure you What? I'm sure you are. No, we've got a package for you. We're going to be dropping it off from the air onto your porch. Uh, my my co-pilot, uh, Carlito, is right here. We just want to walk you through this real quick. You need to stay off of your porch because we don't want to hit you with the box. Yeah, have fun with that. Why are you being like that about it? Look, sir, th we spoke earlier. This is the best I can do, best arrangement I can do to get you your package without the sex offender coming anywhere near your area. Yeah, uh, because you see, I'm actually standing on my porch and uh, I'd be able to hear the helicopter. Oh, no, we're no, way, we're way we're up, up there. We're way up there. Yeah. We, we can see you through the infrared, though. Wave at us. Go ahead and wave. Yeah, go ahead and drop it. Just make sure it gets on the porch. Uh-huh. Now it's going to hit you. Get off the porch. Hey, I'm going to throw a couple of bowling balls down there, too, all right? Yeah, sure. You guys have fun with that. We'll try yeah. it. I can't you guys are continuing this uh, ridiculous charade here. Hey, It'll never end. Hey, It'll never end. At, at what point did you um, realize that we were full of shit and, and nothing was real? Oh, you know, about three minutes into it. Oh, that whole time you were just messing with us? You didn't believe any of it ever? I mean, you really think I would? Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm kind of pretty sure you did. Based on your attitude, yeah. 
Well, uh, you guys can go ahead and uh, not call this number anymore because what you're doing is actually quite illegal. Uh -oh. No, it's not. Here we go with the lawyer talk again. It's called harassment, and uh, you need to stop. Okay, we'll stop. Since you've asked us not to call anymore, we won't call anymore. Then it's harassment is subjective and very hard, very difficult to prove in a court of law, sir. Uh, actually, it's not. My co-pilot here knows the law. He, he's Telephone law, I know all about. Practically a lawyer. Uh, yeah, so you guys actually don't know a whole lot, because when you've been told to stop and you don't stop, immediately it becomes harassment. Well, no, we said we'd stop. I mean, this is the last call. You'll never hear from us again, I promise. Mm -hmm. Good. And being told, uh, being told to stop only applies for a 24-hour period. <laughs> Shut up! Yeah, have a blessed life. Yeah. We'll try. Hey, do you ride a motorcycle? And, uh, you know, please try to do something a lot more useful with your life than, um... Like pretend know, to be a lawyer? ...and threatening your uh, political opponents. Political opponents? We're, we're not political. We're just, we're just here in the neighborhood. You just always look at us whenever you drive by in your motorcycle. So we're like, fuck that guy, let's prank him. I'm, I'm quite sure. For real? Uh, yeah, I'm quite sure. You guys can uh, go right the hell away and never call me again. Can you just hang up? Like, you're, you're harassing us at this point. Actually, you called me, so uh, I, know, I but can do whatever I feel like when you've called me and it's not harassing You're me. continuing to slander us and say mean things. Yeah, hang up the fucking phone. Saying mean things is actually perfectly acceptable. No, mean you don't know what you're acceptable. talking about. You're not Slander even a lawyer. I have not slandered you at all. You're not even a lawyer. Do you know that? I'm sure of it. You, you're just pretending. You are? You're 100% sure of it? Yes. Are you? Uh-huh, yep. And uh, how can you be sure of that? Uh, I don't know, because you, 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 don't, you don't talk like a lawyer. You, oh, you, you don't sound, know. Oh, yeah. See, there you sound go. really <laughs> uneducated. You, and, so, uh, you can't be 100% sure of it. Yeah, it's illegal. At best, at best, you're a paralegal. Oh, really? And uh, how would you know that? You go and get coffee for the real lawyers. <laughs> and uh, how would you know that? You need to quit harassing us. Please hang up. I'm not harassing you. You called me. You're slandering you us. No, I have called you. And you're being a homophobe. Have I ever said anything against homosexuals? Nope. Well, we're, not, we're willing to drop all the anti-Semitic and racist things you said a few days ago to us. I said nothing anti-Semitic. I said nothing racist. Okay, at sure. All. Well, our, our client that hired us to make these phone calls doesn't seem to think so. Oh, really? Yeah. I, I really don't care what your uh, client thinks. Then why are you talking to us still? Uh, Just hang up. You you and, will. Uh, what, uh, what is your client's name then? Uh, how about you give us your bar license number? Uh, can't do it, can you? <laughs> However, you are harassing me, and uh, I would like to know which client hired you to harass me. Oh, we're not harassing you. We're just well, make an me. offer. Please beat, uh, beat, beat his offer, and we might go ahead and do that. Right? I'm I'm not going to pay you. I'm just going to you know let All you right, know well. that if you don't. Stop harassing me. You, uh, you will be going to jail. Mm -hmm. We don't okay, give you permission sure. to put us in jail. You're right. You don't need a conviction to put you in jail. All you need is a... Uh, <clears throat> all you need is Is clearing your throat like that a legal tactic? The lawyers use... <laughs> Do you ever take a pause no, and inhale through your nose really loudly? <laughs> allergy. Also? That's, that's the you ever go <laughs> allergy tactic, just, just so you know. Oh, okay, mm -hmm. sorry. Do you snap your suspenders also? You're like, I'm no big city lawyer. Shut up, Homer. <laughs> Shut up. Fucking hilarious. This is, this is very funny, actually, at this point. You seem more amused you know, this time. I, I now know who time. you are, what you want, and what you're trying to do, and it's not going to work in any way, shape, or form. What are we trying but, to uh, do? And tell your employer that um, I'm not racist. Our I'm employer? Not, We're I'm not, not employed. In any way, shape, or form. I'm actually a really good guy. We don't have and, jobs. Uh, you can tell him that when he loses to me, he can have a wonderful day. But I actually have things to do, so um, Why don't you hang I'm going to be hanging up, and you guys cannot call me anymore. Yeah, we Thank won't. You for your time. Have a wonderful life. Bye. Uh. <laughs>
What's he, what is he running for? Now, 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 look up his name. Uh, okay, hold on. And see, now I gotta know. Because I made um, it sound, I, I, I caught it the first time he said it. That's why I said our client that hired us to make these calls. Hold on a second. Ugh. I gotta, What's, Jesus. I forget his name. I'm looking it up on our chat. <laughs> it must gotta be Judge. What, what was his first name? Wasn't it Chris? Oh, okay. Um, yeah, let me look for Chris. Because when he first said it, I thought he knew about the PC, uh, the, the the prank calls of the little... Oh, fuck. No, what's it called? Dog, really. You, we're not going outside to chase squirrels, man. No. Stupid S dog. Settle down. <laughs> what? I'm going to have to create him. Create that motherfucker. That's funny. He thinks like uh, another Canada is out to get him. <laughs> <laughs> With harassing phone calls. Yes, that's exactly what they would do. <laughs> It's got to be some bullshit fucking <laughs> county commission. Yeah, that's what most of this is. Uh, you know, township, county, lots of county commissioners. School board. Um, oh, wait, is this him? Yeah, this is him. Um, yeah, county commissioner. He's a, <laughs> he's a Republican. Of course. Is he really a lawyer? Uh he probably is because a lot of people have been lawyers that have been calling you know the the they'll answer um you know with an answering uh, machine they'll say they're a lawyer okay gotcha and they knew who his opponent is you should just call back and drop the name <laughs> uh well yeah actually yeah there's only one guy <laughs> running against him let's call him up but no we can't let, let's not I, I don't know if we should uh, yeah yeah <laughs> Just do the helicopter thing. See what happens. I love that guy's pretending that he didn't fall for anything the other day. Yeah. He's just like an incredibly good actor. He totally did not get all wound up about the whole thing. No. Did you hear the call from my show yet where he was just... I, I, I still have it. I watched a documentary that I just didn't... I, I will during the week. I will, but... Okay. Because you said he was even crazier. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he, he was just... He was screaming at me. He was using his, uh, I'm beating my wife voice. <laughs> look, look what you made me do! Your call has been forwarded to an automated... Yeah. Like, I mean, he, he just completely lost it at me. See what you do to me? <laughs> Alright, give me a second. This dog. I'll be right back. Okay. Quick, everyone, let's do a, a call without Carlito. We'll teach him to take off for a second. Oh. Hello, uh, Michael? Hello. No, it's Eileen. Oh, hey, Eileen. Uh, this is Steve Dave. I'm a, I'm a pilot with Fox News. I'm in a helicopter above your house right now. Oh, wow. Yeah, uh, how are you doing today? Pretty good. All right. What, what's this about? Uh, we we kind of dropped something in your yard, and I just wanted to apologize for that. We were up, like, way up here in the helicopter. We've been hovering above your house for about the past 25 oh. minutes. Is that because he's in a, in a county commissioner? Uh, no, no. Uh, it has nothing to do with that. Uh, we, we were just up here okay. doing doing some work. You know, we were just we were uh, blanketing your entire house and yard in high powered microwave beams. But it's nothing to do with office or anything. I don't even know what you're talking about. Oh, okay. But, no, he's running. He's running for county commissioner. Oh yeah. So that's there's nice, some honey. Is the thing. Wait a minute. Whatever's in the front yard, you want that back? Oh, no, no, no. It's just, I just wanted to apologize, because uh, my pilot, um, he dropped something in your yard as an accident. Okay. It's just, you know, it's just, we, we, we've been up here for a couple hours now. Oh, wow. And uh, we just... I don't, I, don't see, I don't see anything. Oh, no, we're way up here. We're, we're supposed to be undetectable, so we're way up here. We're blanketing your home in microwaves, and I can see you through the infrared. Like we can see oh, wow. in, through your roof and everything. Wow! Are you guys looking for something or no? Oh no, no, no! We're just uh, we're just beaming microwaves at your house. But uh, my pilot, Carlito. Uh huh. Uh, he. I mean, I don't even know how to put this. I'm kind of embarrassed to say. He had to poop, and we're not allowed to leave for another hour. So he pooped right into your yard. Like we can see it on the infrared. Oh, he Oh, where? In the backyard? Yeah, yeah, he just pooped out into the yard. It's right there in the middle. But it, it was a lot of poop, you know? 
Okay, you're not joking, huh? No, no, I wouldn't kid about this. Carlito, are you sorry? Are you there, Carly? Uh, he's he's busy. Why why do you need to um, microwave our house? Oh no, it's not cooking it or anything like that. It's it's just uh, it, we're just scanning it. We're just um, it's just some work we're doing. Like you don't have to worry about it. Oh. Okay, I don't see any poop. That's right in the middle. Like we can see it through the infrared because it's warmer than the rest of the grass. Okay, I mean in the backyard or the front yeah, yard? Ma'am, I wouldn't go out there because he's still doing it. He is? Yeah. Wow. Why are you doing it at our house? Uh, he's, he's just, uh, you know, like he's, like we're, we're above your house and we're, 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 we're beaming stuff down at your house right now. And we just, you know, when you got to go, you got to go. And he couldn't hold it. And I, I just wanted to apologize. Oh, my God. He, That's... Terrible. Yeah, he's currently pooping, so you might want to stay out of your yard. Are you? In, are so you? Why did I put? Listen, why don't I put a garbage can and then it will land in the garbage? Oh, I don't think he has that good. Of, you know, there, there, it's just he doesn't have that good of aim. There's going to be wind and all that stuff. It's not going to. We can't just put an X down there and you know do it perfectly. Oh my God! Did you go back in the house? You know, well, yeah, I'm going back in now. Is that the front yard or the back yard? You don't know. Uh, you kind of right there in the back. And then some of it was on the roof, too. Like, right on the edge of the roof. Oh, my God. It's, it's, it's not exactly You better go soft. get the cat. They're, 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 they're pooping or something. What? Go get the cat. Tell her to hurry. Like, Carlito, hold off for a second. Just pull, stop. He shouldn't even be doing this, because he's supposed to be piloting the helicopter, but he's just out of his seat and has a seat belt off. Wow, that's crazy. How do you, how'd you find my number? Oh, we've got records of everything. Uh, you know, we're with the news. We're with Fox News. We're just, we're in the, the, we're in the, tra wow. we're in the traffic chopper. Wow, that's wild. Yeah, yep. But we're just, uh, we're going to be up here for a couple more hours. We're going to be uh, beaming high-powered microwave uh, frequencies at your house. Are you doing other houses or only ours? Just yours. Like, do you have a fish it's tank? Hot. This Is this strange? Do you have a fish tank in the house, ma'am? Uh, yeah. Can you put your finger in the fish tank and just tell me if the water is warmer than normal? It's, How would he know that? Well, it's probably fine. No, I'm just saying, like, we're, we're probably making your uh, your water heater not work as hard because we're heating the water through with the microwaves. All right, okay. Ma'am? Yeah, Can you I've got to go. Well, Please. did you check the fish tank? Yeah, she went. He's going to have her check the toilet. Well, Carlito hung up. He just he just left me. What the hell, Carlito? Just got bored with my shit, I guess. He didn't like me talking about him pooping like that. He got offended. Just hung up on me. I'm sure he'll be back in a minute. <laughs> she asked if it was a prank, though. She's on to me. Mountain Joy says he fell out of the helicopter. <laughs> That'd be terrible. <laughs> got an old lady on the phone. Oh, shit, Carlito just fell out of the helicopter. Get in the house. Go to the basement. Sorry. We accidentally dropped a, a human in your yard. Uh, Hunter Voss wants me to say we dropped chemtrails in their yard by accident. And it might make their kids retarded. I dropped my bird. Okay. Hey. Look who it is. Hey, hey it's me. Hey. Sorry about that. Hey. We're calling Keisha. Man, I was trying to poop. And then Hi, I'm down. sorry I can't take your call. Were you seriously pooping? No, no, like I was trying to poop over the house, you know? Oh. I was trying to do that, the whole thing we said. <laughs> well, did you hear the call I was making? Yeah, I did, and then I had to disconnect in order to try to get it to work, you know? Ah. Like, oh. I, my mic died, so I was trying to troubleshoot it. Oh, I see. Hi, bud. 
Is that just a police radio? No, it says it's airplane radio chatter. Oh, okay. Someone's saying we should drop a bird out. We accidentally dropped a bird out of the helicopter and landed in their yard. I think a bird <laughs> would go up and then get ground up. <laughs> oh, yeah, I didn't think of that. We accidentally dropped the Browns off at the Super Bowl. Is that it? <laughs> accidentally. Did, how do you accidentally <laughs> take a shit? <laughs> well, I mean, I know how, but... <laughs> We've all been there once or twice. Yeah. Usually it starts with a fart. And then, oops. Oh, no. I wish I could sound like I was radio guy. This sucks. Well, I won't do it either, so, so you won't be jealous. Yeah. It's not fair. Oh, Mr. Biggs says uh, to ask for the Wi-Fi password. Nice. This is Nancy. Uh, uh, Mr. Biggs wants us to say uh, we threw quarters out and a nickel and a quarter. We need to have them check to see which one got closer. He, <laughs> sa- he says to the fire hydrant, we could just say like the porch or closer to the front door. I don't know. Yeah. Got to do that. Mailbox. Uh, this is Charles if he picks up. This is Chuck. Hello. Hey, Chuck, how you doing? Not bad. Hey, good. Listen, my name is Cross. Uh, I'm the captain here on this helicopter. We're currently flying over your home. Okay. Okay, can you do us a favor? We were just having a contest. We're just we're we're in a holding pattern right now. The airport's full. Um and we were throwing some coins down trying to get as close as we could to your front front porch. Sure. All right, now um, I threw a quarter down, and then my pilot, uh, my co-pilot rather, threw down a nickel. I'll, I'll tell you, what, I'll go look for him right after Trump appoints him Secretary of State. Who uh, appoints who? You? <laughs> <laughs> okay, he got me there. <laughs> that was a good one. All right. Was he running for office himself, or? Um. Oh, he's uh, county commissioners. He's running for county commissioner. Uh, all right. All right. All right. He likes his Trump, though. So you did a live show yesterday? No, I was just trying to do offline pranks for the new podcast thing. Ah, okay. I thought... How was your meetup thing? All you right. have reached Martin. I thought I Regret Jumping told me you were live, doing live stuff. Well, yeah, but, I wasn't broadcasting. I was just, as I was doing it, I just jumped into the Hijinks Discord voice oh. channel. And just, so whoever was around and noticed could listen. And they ended up with like a good eight, ten people in there, I think. Yeah, we were we were at Powell's Books in Portland, and we got that page, uh, you know, <laughs> saying yeah. Brad, Brad and Olga. And we were just like, what the hell? Like, who knows we're here? Like, who broadcast this? And I guess I regret jumping mentioned it or posted a picture or something. Yeah, but that was fun. Like the, <laughs> the yeah, because I told them you're you're on a liver transplant list, and when I <laughs> you had 15 minutes to respond, or we were gonna pass you over. <laughs> so they was like, "Oh my goodness!" <laughs> I don't think they told me that. She sounded. I, did, did you see the video of her? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just kind of <laughs> shook because I told her, not, "Hey, no pressure, but this guy's life is in your hands." She's like, "Um, <laughs> well, I can't guarantee I can find him. <laughs> I'm gonna try." Maybe it's good we went up to the desk. She probably would have felt like shit otherwise. Yeah. If she noticed who you are like 20, 30 minutes later. <laughs> <laughs> like you'd be like, oh, oh I'm in yeah. such pain right now. <laughs> See, I should have given you a heads up so you could have been like, oh, is it about my liver? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, we had fun yesterday, though. We did an escape room, which I've never done before. Mm-hmm. Uh, that was a lot of fun, and... I've been invited to those. Never done it. It was fun though. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I was, I was not. Um, I, I don't. I just don't give a shit. You know, like eh, escape room, whatever. I'll do it if they want to do it. But it's actually really fun. I kind of want to do another one now. So is it like you're like a real life Legend of Zelda game? Like you're in a dungeon and you have to uh, the, do things to get out. I mean, it's, it's just a room. We didn't have to get out. We had to solve a murder. And oh. there, there's just there's clues everywhere and. Um, I don't know. We had to put this things up onto picture frames that would open, like, start up a 
opening a, a door automatically. This other thing we did started up a strobe light, which uh, highlighted some letters that were on fan blades on a fan that was running. And that, that was like a combination to something else. It was just like a, an, an hour of solving puzzles like as quickly as we could. That's kind of cool. Yeah, yeah, it was a lot of fun. i try that again sometime. I know someone who's really into them, Prankmaster. Don't know if you know who I'm talking about, but he's obsessed with them. Yeah, Olga's the only one that had ever done one before. Oh. None of us others had, because we're men, goddammit. Yeah. That's women's work. That's right. But no, it's a lot of fun. Thanks, Olga, for making us do that. Yeah. Well, it's better than karaoke, that's for sure. <laughs> you don't like karaoke? No. Jag kept wanting to do karaoke in Chicago. Ah, I'd do karaoke. Hello, this is Wade. Hey, Wade. Yeah. Hi, Wade. Yes, sir. Hi, this is Captain Cross. I'm in a helicopter. My, myself and my associate, we're in a helicopter right now over your home. Yeah, man. Okay. Uh, do we have clearance to go ahead and land on your property? You do not. <laughs> okay. Well, we kind of have an emergency, and FAA rules say we have to at least ask, but if, we, if the pilot declares an emergency, he's allowed to land wherever he wants within reason. Oh, absolutely! You can you can do that if you got an emergency. But I thought well, you were joking, man. No, I got to take a shit. Basically, is what's going on. <laughs> um, I don't know. Do you have a facilities inside that I can use? Yes. Okay. Do you have good toilet paper? Yes, I got it, man. I got everything you need. What brand toilet paper? Oh shit. Uh, Charmin, man. Nothing but the best for you. Uh oh. Oh shit. I'm Get, declaring an emergency. Bring it on down. Bring right it on now. down. Declaring an emergency. Oh, shit. Coming on down. I'll be watching right, for hey, you. Bring it you on gotta down. Mo move those cars. You got to move those cars. <laughs> okay. I'm out there. I'm moving. All right, man. Get Bring them out. It on. Hurry up. All right. <laughs> All right. I'm looking and at you. you. And can you paint a big X on the ground, too? <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's already there. I'm ahead okay. of you. All right. Okay. I'm ahead of man. I'm way ahead of you. All right, pull your pants down. You better down. bring it on. Pull your pants down while you're out there, okay? <laughs> I'm mooning you right now. Well, I'm going to ram it right up your ass. <laughs> bring it on. Yeah, do you know what the G spot is? I got is? a target for you. I got you know a target G, for you. Do you know what the G spot is? Uh huh. Yours is in your asshole because you're a man. It's called your prostate. That's right. You got it. I got it. Bring it on. Okay. All right, we're going to check your seminal fluid, you're crazy. too, all you're right? You're crazy. You're crazy. Yeah, I'm crazy about you, big guy. <laughs> hey, I'm going to vote right, for you. have fun. I'm going to vote for you. No, okay. he doesn't he care. Yeah. Yeah. Running to yeah. These, he these people are all running. I keep asking that. Yeah, yeah. Because I, I want to say at one point that we're hired to, I mean, you should say the next one, <laughs> that we're hired to do a little spying. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. why not? But yeah, everyone I'm calling today, uh, that guy was county commissioner. Like, these are all just different districts of county commissioner. All right, so, tell, so, all right, so, so let's figure out who are we calling and who's running against them. And then we'll say that that's who hired us to tap into their phones. But we haven't noticed any phone conversations. Have they been using the phone? Yeah, that lady before that believed me, she asked if that was the reason that we were doing yeah. the microwave thing. <laughs> <laughs> Paranoid, man. <laughs> so that's what they're like. Oh, hey, when you say you're with Fox News, like, oh, hey, how you doing? Mini gun. I can't play. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, people, play. people in the chat room are saying we should drop missiles and stuff on them. Oh, shit. Like, hey, we're going to blow up your house. You, you might want to leave. Oh, this one doesn't have an address. It's a P.O. box. So. Hopefully he just believes us and doesn't ask for the address. Hello, hello, this is Adam. Hey, Adam, th this is uh, Roy. I'm a, I'm in a helicopter above your house right now with Fox News. We're uh, blanking your home with uh, microwave beams. Yeah. And there's, there's a small issue. Um, are, are you home right now? Um. Yeah. Why? 
Uh, it's just that we accidentally dropped something uh, out of the helicopter. Who is it? Um, my name is Roy. I'm I'm in, I'm here with my uh, co-pilot. This is uh, Cross. I guess his mic's not working. Where are you from? I'm here. This is Captain Cross. I'm sorry. I'm trying to fly. I'm sorry, Cross. Um, yeah, we're we're just we're with Fox News. We've been contracted to uh, blanket your home with microwaves. Uh, uh, yeah. What? Whatever. Hey, we can land on um a business um, in grocery store parking lots also. Oh yeah, I mean, we should move on to that in a little bit. I want to do one of these things with uh, saying we're with their their opponent. Yeah. No, they, 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 they. Well, you didn't tell it this guy. Come on. Well, I, I, he wasn't believing it, and he he just didn't ask me. Just tell him from the beginning. Hey, we were hired by blah blah. blah. <laughs> Watch your house for your mistresses. And maybe I shouldn't say Fox News. I should just like what? A say, pick a private investigator <laughs> name. It says blah blah blah. Private investigation. <laughs> they have a helicopter. <laughs> well, this one's Marsha. If you want to take it. All right, I got it. Hello? Yeah, hi. Is that Marsha? It is Marsha. Okay, hi. We were um, contracted by your, one of your opponents to watch your home. We're in a helicopter right now over your property. What? Uh, we were contracted by one of your opponents. Uh, the name is uh, by Michelle. Yeah, what about her? Okay. Uh, well, she contracted us to keep a watch on your house. Why? Uh, I mean, I don't ask why. We're just, I mean, we know why, but we have a, like a gag order, you know, we can't say too much. Well, who is it? Uh, well, yeah, my, okay, my name, I'm with Floods. Floods Private Investigation. My name is Flash Floods. And, uh, my co-pilot's on the, he's, he's mic then also. Or my pilot, rather, the helicopter pilot. Hello, ma'am. Yeah. I'm, I'm the co-pilot. This okay. Is, this is Roy. Yeah, so... Okay, um, I'm going to call yeah. the police right now. I don't know what you're talking about. Well, no, we're, we're just... We're, we're using microwaves oh, and infrared... <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> yeah, well, what are they going to do? <laughs> <laughs> they're they're going to send I a... I got to call <laughs> a private... <laughs> they're going to send a helicopter up there to tell them to <laughs> get down. Oh... <laughs> Oh, we should be with Richard Cardo, private investigators. That's what Frank there says. There you go. Yes, yes. <laughs> um, you, you know, you could you could call around the uh, Colorado or Boulder. Just say, <laughs> reopening the <laughs> the case. We, we should call whoever lives in the uh, John Bonet Ramsey house currently and say we're we're scanning their home. Yeah. So hey, because of the voice saying you be the pilot, I could just be on the ground. I'm I'm the private investigator. Oh uh, yeah. Hi, you reached your voice now for. Oh. Are you voting? Me? No, I'm not. I'm not allowed to vote, am I? Are you a felon or? Uh, yeah. Misdemeanor. Oh, you are. I guess. Yeah, yeah. The whole FBI thing. That's a. I'm a felon now. Oh. No voting. Man. No guns. I can't own my guns anymore because I owned so many guns before. Well, see, I don't think it's fair that you can't vote. I think while you're serving a sentence, maybe, but after that, come on, man, you're rehabilitated. I'm yeah, really... yeah, I didn't know that, that you couldn't vote, and I don't understand why you can't vote, but I don't give a shit. I never voted before. It's probably an anti... Okay, so let's be honest. A lot of black people will get <laughs> found. I'm not trying to fuck around, but it's it's a tactic against the, you know, liberal, uh, the Democrat Party, obviously, I think. And they're going to so. vote. They're going to vote for like the felons. They would vote for people that would change the laws to get them to not yep. be felons anymore. See how they get you? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's how they get you. That's how they get you. So you think we should do like convenience stores or something and land on their roof? Grocery stores because they have big parking lots. Let's see if we can get them to get everyone to move their cars. We could drop a gas hose and have them refuel us. <laughs> yeah, that too. <laughs> <laughs> diesel, it's got to be diesel. Is that what helicopters take? No, probably. It's just jet. Hello, I don't know what you have reached Chip. Ah, Chip. Hello. 
Hey, Thomas? Tom, yes. Who is it? Oh, no, it says Thomas here on the records. Uh, my, my name is Chip. I'm a, a helicopter pilot. We're above your house right now. Okay. And we're just going to be up here. I, we just didn't want you to be concerned. We're going to be up here for the next three hours. Okay. And just, uh, you know, don't worry about it. We're just, uh, we're, we've got an apparatus strapped to the bottom of the helicopter, and we're just going to be beaming some uh, things down and blanketing your, your property with it. What? We're, we're just going to be beaming. Uh, it's like microwaves. It's like, it's just a frequency. It's not a big deal. Like, you don't have to worry about it. We're just going to be up here for about three hours. Okay. <laughs> I don't even know what the fuck that means, beaming microwaves. <laughs> what? It just sounds good. He probably just said his whole family in the basement. And I said my name's Chip by accident, so <laughs> that's one of his <laughs> one of his opponents. <laughs> you gotta say you're higher than it's funny. Oh yeah, Brian says helicopters can only be up for a few hours. Like, do you know what the time limit is for a helicopter in the air? Uh, no idea. Yeah, me either. I think maybe like two two. Yeah, sounds right. I said three, like well, three's a couple. Two, no, no. Two's a couple. Three's a few. We brought an extra gas can with us, so yeah, duh. we got to go outside. <laughs> got to go out there and do a spacewalk. Yeah, <laughs> refuel. <laughs> Tell me your, your name is John Denver. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Didn't John Denver die in a plane crash? That he, he was flying. Oh, I don't know. John Denver is right. 90, 1997, I want to say. John he used to fly planes. Oh, the singer, John Denver. Yeah, I thought you said Dover. Oh no, hello? Denver, Denver. Hey, there. hello, Angela. Yeah. This is Roy. I'm in a helicopter above your house. I'm here with my uh, co-pilot, Cross. Hey. Can Can you hear us? Okay, it's kind of hard to hear with the helicopter. Wait a what? You said what? Uh, we're above your house right now. We're in a helicopter. Uh huh. Are, are you home right now? You. This is Angela. Correct. Yes. On um, circle. You got in a helicopter at the top of our house for what? Well, we're not. The, we're we're like way up there. You can probably barely even see us. You'll you'll just see the blinking light. Okay. But, but what y'all there for? Uh, we we're well. We're doing some contract work up here. We're gonna be up here for a couple hours. But we've been throwing money, like coins, out onto your lawn. And uh, we're trying to see who can land their coins closest to the house. So I was wondering if you could go out there and just check for us. No, I'm not even there. And who are you? Uh, my name's Roy. I'm here with my co-pilot, Cross. Hey, you. But what is this? A project? What is this? I knew nothing about this. What uh, is this? What is going we, on? We were hired by, we were hired by one, of your, one of your opponents. Uh, listen in on your home and watch for like see if you have a mistress coming in and out yeah do you know David what David are you running against him for county commissioner I guess yes okay yeah but don't worry about it that's not important what I was trying to find out is um, like so cross is throwing out nickels and I'm throwing out quarters and we're trying to land them on your sidewalk to see who can get closest to the house yeah we're bored you're not really doing anything at the house right now. It's kind of we're, we're hoping to get some juicy pictures of you guys, but you guys are kind of boring. Man, get y'all asses off of my phone. Y'all is being very disrespectful right now. Y'all are being, and you're but, okay. I'm well, total, totally voting for you. She's the one cursing at us. <laughs> Should we call her back? Yeah, she's running for what? <laughs> County Go. commissioner. Yeah. Your call has been forwarded to uh -oh. an automatic. Straight to voicemail. Your call has been forwarded to a... One more try. Ask her she'll buy a used iPad. Your call has been forwarded ah. to a... <laughs> She's going to have some words with David. <laughs> Scooter says, tell him you dropped your helicopter rotor. Oh my God. <laughs> Just one of the blades. We can still fly. Hey, we say we dropped our uh, our flight plan book. Like it's a, it's a big as big as a phone book. <laughs> so now we don't know how to land. And they'll Can be she like, read it <laughs> out to us? <laughs> All right, you, you should do that. This is David. 
All right, hey, change your voice. Change your voice. Okay. And who's David running against? Put it in. Uh, okay. Brian says we dropped dropped our launch our nuke codes. <laughs> our brief. Hello, you have reached Hammond. Oh fuck! All right, Fer- Frederick is this person's name. How about that guy? It's Tom. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry for not being a psychic. You know, it's like, it's not you like your name. It's, uh, it's probably Junior, and he hates his dad. Who goes by Thomas. Or... Hello. Yeah, hi, Frederick. Speaking. Hi, my name is Cross. I'm with Cross and Associates. We're a private uh, investigation organization. I've got uh, my pilot Richard Cardo in in the uh, air right now. He's a helicopter. He's a helicopter pilot. He's over your home. Hello, sir. I'm on the line too. Yeah, I have him patched in. Uh, we were hired by Christine to uh, watch your home for a few hours th- this Sunday. And why would that be? Uh, th- there's only so much that I can say, really. Um, you know, I guess there's some kind of... You, you guys have some type... She has some reason that she wants to investigate you. She said to watch for women walk c- coming in and out of your home. Things like that. What are you talking about? Okay, I'm a private investigator. A I'm with Cross. Huh? Is this a serious what? phone call? Yes, it is. Yes, I have. I have. A, she contracted us to have one of our helicopter pilots over your home for a four-hour block today, this afternoon. And he's up there now. He's on the line. He has a problem, though. He dropped his flight manual. It's about the size of a large phone book. And it's on your property. Do we have permission for him to land to get that? Because he, he actually needs that. Well, I'm going to step outside right now. You say there's a helicopter there? Oh, he's very, very high up, sir. That's, uh, I mean, well, he... The helicopters are only so high. It can't be more than icy airplanes at 20,000 feet. Yeah, but you're not going to hear him, sir. He's up there. He doesn't, I mean, it's a private investigation. It wouldn't really make sense for him to be able to oh, hear really? you. It's a stealth helicopter? No, it's not a stealth helicopter, sir. Don't be silly. <laughs> that, I'm just, I'm, I am being silly because it's ridiculous what you're saying. Okay, sure. We're totally not watching your house then. Okay, you're right. Anyway, so can you tell me if you can find that large book? He's going to... We need that back. He needs that back. He doesn't know how to fly really without that thing. He can land. That's about it. Really? I'll have you're him explain bird? it to you. Can you, can you just ask him to please hurry? Because this is kind of important. I just need to make sure it's down there. I saw Yeah, well, what, <laughs> why don't you just jump? It's easier and quicker. You'll go into the blades. No, the blades are above a helicopter. You're an idiot. <laughs> okay, uh, this okay, is a okay so what's helicopter. The, so he's just going to ditch the helicopter and let it crash in someone's house? Yeah, I'll lose my job, sir. Well, that would be a very sad thing for such a dumb person to be doing stuff like that. What a shame for you. I, I don't think I'm dumb. Like, do you know how to fly a helicopter? I don't think so. I do. Oh, well, well, good for you. Then you're a really silly person dropping, hel- dropping telephone books out of helicopters. It's not a telephone book, you fucking idiot. It's, it's the flight manual. Flight it tells manual. them how to do everything. <laughs> you get dropped a flight manual while you're trying to learn how to fly a helicopter? You're pretty stupid there, too. I'm not trying to learn. Like, we just need this. We gotta. I gotta go through the checklist to land and... And to uh, bank right and stuff. Well, good luck with that. You know what? You don't have permission to do anything. As a matter of fact, you could just still jump out of the helicopter, though. Oh, shit. Good luck with that. Oh, shit. All right. He's, if he declares an emergency, you have Fuck. to, by law, you have to um, land. Good luck with that. Too bad. <laughs> cross, cross, oh, like we're having a problem up here. All right. The French fries are ready. This is a pretty, this is a pretty good crank call, though. Tell, tell him to get that manual. Stat. Get the manual. Read the, just read the manual to him, please. Page three. Page three. Uh, do, do, do I have a permission to actually can record the rest of this? This is a good joke. No, you cannot. Like, we don't have our permission. No. Well, that's too bad. Oh, shit. Hope you have a... it, it stabilized. <laughs> I hope it doesn't hurt too much. It's stabilized. That's very funny. Everything's fine. It's stabilized. Hey, you're, and you're too old to be running for office. You should let the young people run. You know? Yeah, you old man. A career old politician. Man, huh? That's right. Compared to Christine, you're old. Why were you even? Why are you even calling me? I ran for it. Oh. Why don't you? Why don't you actually talk to the, talk to the person who actually uh, is going to be actually your running mate? No, don't worry about it. We we'll do, we do what we want. 
Yeah. Stupid. Well, good. Well, why don't you actually vote for a party that actually uh, is doing something right in the world as opposed to things that are causing problems? How about that? What party's that? Huh? How about just getting the president out of office? How about not doing that? How about getting the Republicans to actually start doing their jobs? Oh, we love Trump. Mostly? Trump's our friend. Well, you're a moron. No, no. That's even further reason I, for I you to crash that thing. You see how they are? I went to well, a Trump rally and he, he shook my hand, so you're, you're just jealous. Oh, gosh. Well, you can still have you still have hope. You can probably have it chopped off. Yep. If I jump out of the helicopter, maybe I'll lose it. And, and you know, that would be good, too. Cut up in the blades that are underneath. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Well, you're anyway, not entertaining you're, anymore. Yeah, just fuck off. Hang up the phone. <laughs> good idea. Bye. Yeah. <laughs> he told us. Yeah. <laughs> so they already ran? Like, I thought elections were in a month. Depends. It maybe it might have been a primary. Oh, okay. I don't understand politics. See, this is why I don't vote. I mean, this and that I'm a felon, but if I wasn't a felon, this is why I wouldn't vote. Because I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> but at least Trump shook my hand once. <laughs> have you washed your hand? <laughs> I stink palmed him. Got him. But then his hand was stinkier, so. <laughs> Oops. Yeah, that's what you get. I think Trump's the kind of guy that just farts right into his leather chair. <laughs> so I guess, I don't know, can we not do the, the candidate stuff because they've ran already? Maybe. I, I, think, I think candidates maintain a level of beef afterwards still. You know. Yeah, probably. Beef. Hey, did you get your show up from last week yet? Uh, it's half edited. I'll finish the rest after this. Okay. And I will upload it after midnight. Cool. Tonight? Yeah. Cool. Midnight, my time. Hurry the fuck Not up. Your mid- oh, okay. That's fine. Sometimes it, sometimes by, you know, at least by, I try to get it out by Monday morning for the commuters. Tell them you shrunk your helicopter to have a battle with bugs in their lawn. <laughs> and you're ready to size back to normal. Someone's been watching a lot of Ant Man. <laughs> Your call has been forwarded to an audio. <laughs> that that call that um, uh, Jag did on your show last week that was crazy. You got the customer to go back there and like pull the lunk alarm. Remember that, Carlito? Remember that? Jag got a customer on the phone. Got him to yeah. go behind. Yeah. Go behind. Trying to remember. They, oh yeah, because they went. They turned on the, the lunk alarm. <laughs> Uh, do you think it wasn't because a lot of times with those Planet Fitness is they uh, an actual worker acting like they're the uh, customer? Right? Oh, I don't think so. I I think they really put customers on, don't they? Well, sometimes it. It, it did sound like there's a new memo that went out though. Yeah, well, I've probably About- like that state that I had you call in. I think I've done that state a lot. Oh, so okay. they're just more on top of things. Cause where do we gotcha. do that? We did that. Was it maybe Dwight's show? Like we were doing some and they were in a different state and we had slightly better success with those. Okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. I think that was Dwight or maybe it was party time, but yeah, yeah. They were, <laughs> they were just mm. not working out on your show the other day, <laughs> except Jags. I still want to try to get a gym to flip the breakers while people are on the treadmill. <laughs> <laughs> That's a Tabachi idea. <laughs> so much of people are flying. Ooh. I want to videotape that. I want to, <laughs> I want to videotape a bunch of old people breaking their backs simultaneously. <laughs> that would definitely make the news if something that bad happened. <laughs> well, um, I'm pretty sure uh, Laugh Track Matt was successful at that once, like a couple of years ago. Oh, really? Yeah, because I remember uh, he, he just started yelling at her after she did it. He's like, you're a fucking idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Turn off all the switches, you fucking idiot. You know, he got really yeah. pissed at her for falling for it, it seemed like. <laughs> After we do a few more of these, we can uh, move on to convenience stores or, yeah. or whatever else. Planet Fitnesses. We could say we're uh, flying in from the corporate office on a helicopter. There you go. <laughs> to land on the roof. Oh, you got to call Walmart for that. And we'll do the whole union thing. <laughs> so we got a report of unionization. We're flying in from Bentonville right now. <laughs> Just make a bunch of outrageous demands that we need. We need the break room cleared. We're going to be setting up some laptops. We should have them flip the switches on and off so, to like send out a signal so we can see the lights blinking and know where to mm-hmm. land. Yeah. 
Hello. Hello, Bob. Yes. Uh, th- this is Roy. Uh, I'm in a helicopter above your house right now with Carlito. Are you home right now? Yes. You gonna land? No, no, nothing like that. Um, we just we're gonna be up here for about three hours. We hope the noise isn't bothering you. We're kind of high up, so you probably can't hear us. Okay. I mean, I can hear you fine. No, I mean, like, I hope it's not bothering you there at the house with the helicopter rotors making all that noise. All right, let me look out. I, I don't know if the sound's even carrying down that far. We're just going to be directly above your house for the next three hours, though. And what are we doing? Uh, it's none of your business. We're, it's just something we got to do. We're, we're contractors. We're doing some work on your house. What? We're, we're contractors. We're doing some work stuff on your house. We're just taking notes. What's that? We're just taking notes up here. Yeah, that's all. We, we're taking hi- notes. Yeah, we're we're hired by Danielle. Oh, yeah, she wanted just to take some notes about who's coming in and out. Then you, you help yourself. Okay. Um, look, we, we just need your uh, Wi-Fi password. <laughs> yeah. Goodbye. Oh, come on. Look, we'll crack it anyway. Yeah, we we got hacker tools up here. You got what? We got Half hacker hacker tools. We'll we'll get into the Wi Fi with with or without your help. We just thought you'd make it easier. Oh. No. <laughs> Have fun. Oh we will. Motherfucker. <laughs> I think I can hear the helicopter. What, when you go outside? No, actually, I can't hear you. Yeah, that's because we're really high up there. Um, hey, we're going to be throwing quarters down at your property and trying to hit things. Yeah, hit me. No, we're not going to try and hit you. No. I, I don't want to hurt anyone. Yeah, it would, kill, it would kill you from up here if we hit you with a quarter. Are you crazy? Yeah, it's like throwing, right. throwing off the Empire State Building, dummy. No, that's not true, and you know it. No, it is true. Like, we've done it. You're full of shit. I what think, are you smoking? I think you're full of shit. Well, see, that's why we're calling. Yeah. Um, Carlito actually dropped his uh, marijuana pipe into your yard. Can you go check? And yeah. S- yeah, it's it's a, it's a really gonna... good piece. It's a Milkman brand uh, marijuana glass pipe. Yeah, and you're going to call the DEA on me, probably. No, no. it's just no, no. Don't, don't be paranoid. Like, it's a tobacco pipe. Actually, I'm sorry. We said it like that. It's a water pipe. It's totally illegal. You just go check. It's over by the tree. Okay. Yeah, I got a couple trees. The big one. Sir? Yes, I'm listening. All right. Are you looking for the pipe? No. Why not? Even close is, them. is this Legend? Legend? Is that you? Legend, is it? Is that you? Legend, it's 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 us. We're not really in a helicopter. It's us. It's it's Carlito and Brad. It's us, buddy. How you doing? Legend. Uh, Carlito, that sounds like mafia. Oh, that's racist. Oh. Racist. Lost my vote. <laughs> I'm that's definitely voting too. for I'm definitely voting for Danielle now. You aren't that silly. What are you talking about? (laughs) Duh. (laughs) That was weird. The hell was all that? I don't know. (laughs) That was kind of weird. Stupid Bob. I think I tipped him off saying I was with uh, Danielle or whatever. Hello. Hey there, M- Michelle. This is Michelle. Okay, can you hear me? Okay, I'm in a helicopter. We're above your house right now, over on Stonegate. Okay. I'm, I'm here with my co-pilot, uh, Cross. Hey you. Okay. Are, are you? Hi. Hi. Are you home right now? No, I'm not. I just finished knocking on doors. What are you knocking on doors for? I'm running for county commissioner. Oh. County commissioner. Oh, cool. So, um, How can I help you? Well, we're going to be above your house for the next three hours or so. 
Okay. Yeah, your opponent hired us to watch from up here, but we haven't seen much going on, so we were just confirming when you were going to come back. Who hired you? Uh, Michael. Uh huh. He hired you to do what? We're just going to fly above your house. Don't worry about it. We don't want to give you specifics. But are you going to be home soon? Because there's not much to listen to on, with the communications if you're not home. <laughs> um, I don't know when I'll be home. Crap. But okay. tell my it's nice to know that he's that afraid that he's hiring a helicopter to watch my house. Well, he's not afraid. Yeah. He's just... <laughs> well, he obviously is afraid if he's hanging across above my house with a helicopter. Well, I mean, what time do you think you'll be home, though, is our question, because we I'm might not, just... I'm not going to... Well, why would I tell you, a stranger, when I will be home? It's not safe for me to be home. I don't know who or what your goal is here. Well, we're just we're just up here to take notes and take pictures and use the infrared uh, camera on your home. But we, we like, that's... Oh. I, I think this explains why we haven't really seen much happening. So we thought we'd come back at a better time. All right. Well, good luck with that. Would, would tomorrow... Oh, my See him on November 6th. Good luck with the would, helicopter. Would tomorrow be better? Bye. Ma'am, I have more questions. <laughs> Fuck. I should have asked her for a location. Yeah, I was looking for uh, her house. She has a really boring yard. She doesn't have a single tree. It looks like a brand new construction. Oh. Uh, She's like an empty dirt lot next to her. Yeah. Another house going up. Oh, well, by now it's probably up. Yeah, probably. Fucking, fucking houses, right? Yeah, that's no. right. <laughs> 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 She's all like high on herself. Yeah. Oh, you tell Mike. <laughs> He's so scared. <laughs> she might be telling her people right now. Oh my god, Mike hired a helicopter <laughs> to watch my house. Since she hung up, she's probably on the phone. Like, you won't believe what he's doing now. <laughs> <laughs> she might confront him about this. <laughs> At a debate. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be a smear campaign about it. <laughs> it's not a smear, but you know, like a negative ad. It's funny to think that, you know, like <laughs> a politician running for office is using all this campaign contribution money to rent a helicopter for four hours to watch their opponents. Out. <laughs> Hell, you should do this from the space station sometime. Oh, they, they probably believe it. That's so weird that people believed anything I said from a space station. <laughs> yeah, that a screwdriver made it all the way through the atmosphere and landed right, and you followed it the whole way. <laughs> space screwdriver. Yeah, it's glowing orange. Yeah. Greetings, listener. I'm Mr. Biggs, and you've tuned in to the Snowplow Show on the Phone Losers of America Radio Network. Playing the best pranks of the 80s, 90s, and today. <laughs> yeah. So oh we're, doing, we're doing Pranksgiving this year? I think we should. I think we, yeah. Uh, and are you going to make it this year? You, you make it every other year. So this year is, is a good year, right? We have you this year? Yeah, I think I can do it this year. <laughs> we have you this year. It's like, it's, it's like custody. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh-huh. Uh, I know Dom the Bomb is interested, he asked me. So that's good. So Super Foam Bros. Yeah, it seems like I had a crazy shift last year, like four in the morning or something. Did you have a shift? I thought you could make it last year. No, I made it last year. Oh, okay. I'm pretty sure I did. I know I missed the previous year. That's why. Well, we all did. It didn't happen that year. Oh, well, shit. That was that's why. Probably my fault. Anyway, Pranksgiving. Prank Call Nation. It's going to be fun. When is that? Like, it's in a month. Yeah. Yeah, it's in a month. Um, bu 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 maybe five weeks. Yeah. Is Jihad going to do something like... Wait, does Jihad usually do something? Jihad usually wraps it up at the end. I know that. Okay. So, we'll see there. I'll do, I usually do like, what, eight or six, I think, six hours in the beginning. Yeah, you do a lot. That's my contribution. Up until four of my time. Uh, yeah. We should be good between us, you know, Brad, Dwight, you, me. Yeah, uh, I can do like four or five hours. Something. Yeah. What else am I going to do? Exactly. Go shopping. 
Yeah, Black Friday shopping. I should go out in the stores and videotape while people prank. Because that's a good idea yeah. to do in my town. Yeah, right. Is it really white? No, not really. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, so what, we're going to call Walmart? It's like, won't we just get put on hold with managers? Yeah. Come in. Probably. But I could give it a try. Like, uh, Yeah, we're going to end up having to wait for a manager. You're right. You're right. You're right. Uh, Planet Fitness, though. We can, you know, say we're going to land. <laughs> there. All right. Let's see. Planet Fitness. Or with the corporate office to say we're shooting, we need to come to shoot a commercial. Here, I'll give my caller ID a Planet Fitness caller ID. I wonder how many of those people called back the number I was calling from. <laughs> and they're like, holy shit. It seems to be a Fox 2 News people. Oh, it's legit. <laughs> hey, I read an article. Uh, iPhone filed a patent for uh, a thing on the iPhone. It would work with the telecoms and it would automatically tell people if a call is spoofed or not. Oh, really? Spoofed? Or Because I heard they were doing an anti-robo dialing, so I guess so. Yeah. Oh, shit. That's it's just a patent. It's, it's like not announced or anything, but they filed for mm -hmm. a patent. They're going to they're gonna stomp out spoofing. Well, Apple's pretty good at following through with their patent filing, so that'd be the end of that. Yep. They're going to ruin us forever. Shit. <laughs> that'll be a few years. We got a couple more years left. Yeah. My stand-up career will take over by then. That'll be good. That's right. You doing stand-up again? Uh, I've been going to the amateur nights. I've been to two recently. And I'm, I'm working towards it. Uh, I got to write some more stuff. I got to get a set. Yep. Yeah. It's pretty yep. nerve-wracking, but... Someday I'm going to show up at one of your stand-up shows. Woo! It's going to be great. When I sell out Madison Square Garden. That's right. Like, like uh, Dice, Andrew Dice Clay. That's, uh, yeah, that's when I'm going to show up. All right, so you want to take Planet Fitness if I call them up? Sure. Are we in a chopper? Uh, do you want to be? We can be, yeah. We're in a chopper then. All right. But this is an area I don't usually call, so you, I don't know. Let's just do a lunk alarm then. <laughs> okay. From the chopper? <laughs> no. Nah. Hi, this is Bill. I'm calling from the corporate office. How are you doing today, sir? Hi, how are you doing? Good, pretty good. Thank you for asking. We're following up on a ticket that we have regarding your lunk alarm. You're following up on uh what was that? Sorry. On a trouble ticket that was open here at the corporate office regarding the lunk alarm at this location? Oh, I am actually, I was not aware of that. Did we, did, we, did we put in an order for it? Well, we, we, had a re we had a request that it wasn't communicating with our server here, so we wanted to follow through, do some basic troubleshooting with you over the phone, if you had the opportunity right now, please. Okay, yeah. Well, what do you need from me? Okay, go, uh, do you have uh, type A or type B? Type A is the switch, like a light switch. Type B is a push button. Uh, we have switch. Light switch. Okay, type A. Excellent. Got that here. Just a moment. I'm, it comes up on the screen, just like a list of troubleshooting things to do. Okay, all right. So if you could go ahead and activate that for about three seconds, turn it off. We want to make sure that it sounds like it normally would and also that the light comes on. All right, uh, let me put you on a brief hold so I can go up there and notify everyone. I don't want people to think I'm ringing it on them because there are people up there. Okay, sure. We usually do this on Sunday because it, there's less of an issue, but absolutely, that's fine. Go ahead. All right. Give it to him one second. Thank you. Get him to turn it on as long as possible so I can, uh, you know, find the location and land my chopper. Okay. Or my Huey, I mean. You're in the Huey. They renamed him to Hueys. Oh, that's, I know what movie that's from, that's for sure, sir. <laughs> yeah. Why wasn't I notified? <laughs> Do we still hear the background there? I heard a helicopter for a minute there. No, I mean, 
their background. Like oh, maybe I'm playing it. Oops. No, <laughs> so, <not bad. laughs> It was called airport sounds. It looked, yeah. Whatever. Ah, okay. Sorry. God damn it. Did you get any food on the break? I did. I had four almonds. That's oh, it. Nice. Yeah. I had some microwave popcorn. Oh, nice. Right, sorry about that. All right, I'm going to go ahead and flip it on for three seconds, all right? All right, go ahead. Three seconds on, please. There you go. Okay. All right. Now, did you look at it? Did it flash? Did it stay solid? The yeah. Light? No, it flashed. It sounded. Yeah. Okay. Do you have a blue or a red light? Blue. Okay. Good. Just make sure. Uh, has anyone complained about it not working? I don't understand. No. I'm honestly kind of dumbfounded with this phone call, to be honest with you. <laughs> uh, Why? Well, oh, I mean, no. I mean, a ticket came in through the system here for the look alarm. So... Oh, okay. Yeah, that's, huh. I don't know. I mean, I just flipped it and it worked. Okay, all right. Um, it's supposed to communicate with us here. Uh, I don't, I'm looking now and I don't see that it pinged back when you activated it. You want to activate it one more time for three seconds? We'll see if it establishes communication with the server. All right, let me, one more time. Okay. All right, one more time. One more time. All right. Okay. All right, let me try this. All right, I applied a change to it. Go ahead and try it one more time. <laughs> Everyone's going to be like wondering. All right. Well, How about now? Uh, no. All right. Um, have you ever done the firmware upgrade to the long alarm system? No, I have not. Okay, we need to reset the long alarm. Are you not aware how to do that? I have not done that. No. Okay, we need to activate the long alarm. Uh, after about when it reaches a hundred percent, it will the the light will stay flashing, but the alarm will go off, and then you turn it off at that point. Um, you've informed the people there right now, the members, that this is not a, you know, we're, we're not calling a lunk alarm on them, correct? Well, I mean, I told the one member, but now, I mean, there's been a couple more people walking up there, and with me keep, I, I thought I was only going to be ringing it once. <laughs> yeah, I, I was hoping that, but we need to upgrade the, we need to, like, flash a new firmware on it. See, what happens is the lunk alarm, it's tracked by marketing in order to, they kind of use that data on, at what time of day it goes off and for how long and for what reasons in order to kind of justify yeah. marketing purposes. Maybe the commercials and literature that get sent out to our members and stuff like that in the mail, direct to mail marketing. Um, I know that's All a right. lot of information you don't really want to concern yourself with. What I need you to do is activate the Lunk Alarm um, with us, with uh, myself on the line here. I will let you know once it reaches 100% and at that point you should hear the alarm go off. The, with it still active, the light will keep flashing, but the alarm, the sound, will stop. And then you can turn it off, and that'll be that'll be it. So once I see that, because you'll tell me when it's 100%, right? Right, right. And you'll also hear it also. It'll the, the alarm will just kind of turn off at that point. It'll keep flashing, but the sound will stop. And that's when it's been reset, and then you can just turn it off and, and leave it off at that point. It'll be okay, fixed. so right when the... Um the sound cuts off, but the light keeps going. Do I have to wait a certain amount of time, or can I just turn it off when that happens? Uh, I'll let you know, because uh, at that point, I'll tell you exactly that it's the confirmed it's at 100%. But pretty much, yeah, that's how it goes. All right, I'm going to flip it on. Okay. All right. Okay, still, still an alarm. All right, we're at 10%. What's it at? We're at 10%. Oh, okay. I didn't realize it had to go this long. <laughs> yeah, it's it's it, it's faster. It's just, I don't know, uh, 13. Hey, Mr. Cross, uh, th this is uh, Ed from Corporate Office One. 
We, we, hear, we hear the lunk alarm on this end, and we're zeroing in on the position. We're going to be landing on the roof in about two minutes, I think. Make sure he okay, keeps go, it on. Go ahead. Go through your uh, pre-flight check, and go ahead and land. Yeah, thank you. I'm room. going through the manual right now. I'm on page three. Appreciate it. Thank you. Uh-huh. Uh, what's going on? Okay, we got to like 22% and that stopped. What happened? I turned it off because I had someone else bump, beeping in on the phone call saying they were landing on the roof or something. No, no, that's a different call, sir, on the side. I was wondering why that came through my end. Miss, Mr. Cross, uh, the, the alarm has turned off. We, we, were, not, we were unable to uh, zero on in, the, in on the position. Can you have them okay. turn it back on, please? Yeah, uh, sir, go ahead and turn that back on, please. We can't okay, land unless we hear that. What are you guys trying to do, is what I'm wondering. Well, we're trying to fix the lunk alarm, sir. We're doing a firmware upgrade to the lunk alarm. It requires a helicopter pilot to land on top of the building. M Mr. Cross, this is uh, Roy again from Corporate Office One. We are low on fuel. We need that lunk alarm on ASAP. Yes, yeah, sir. We come on. We need a. He's going to have to declare an emergency if you don't do that. All right. Is this like a joke or what? No, I need you to. We need you. We need you at this point to activate the lunk alarm as soon as possible. I'm going to get your information. What's your name? I'll put the pilot on the line and explain the situation to you, I guess. Pilot. Roy? Uh -oh. Mr. Cross, uh, we really need that lunk alarm on. We're, we're having uh, some issues with fuel. <laughs> <laughs> he was going to keep it going, though. Yeah, I fucked it up. <laughs> That's all right. It's still funny. <laughs> that was fun. I love. I he, just love. I just love that when we get them, where <laughs> I know there's people there, and they're like, "Why is this dumb fucking guy keeping this alarm on? Is there a fire?" What's great though is they deserve it because they're yes. they're the ones that try to like shame other people with the lunk alarm. You're it really sh is. You're shaming them. You're complaining about shame on one end, but you turn around and do it yourself. That's it. It's Antifa stuff. Turn it around on them. Exactly. But I think the lunk alarm thing is your gift forever to the prank call community. I love the lunk alarm. <laughs> I sat on that idea for like two years. Yeah, uh, why? When, like, why didn't you do it right away? I tried it <laughs> once, and it went nowhere. I tried it once on Matt Show. Uh. When I first... Yeah, and it, it was kind of... It didn't really... They turned it on and off, and that was. I'm like, ah, this will never work. And then one day, I'm random on one night on Dwight show, or when it was my show, I forget. But anyway, at one point, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I had so much. That first show when it finally hit off. <laughs> I remember, off. It, like, just at first, everyone was doing them, yeah. and like they were smoking, <laughs> like <shut, laughs> breaking them, yeah. burning out the motors. Yeah. The guys like, we smell fire. <laughs> <laughs> It's always uh, funny to set a business on fire. That's a successful prank call. Burn their little alarm. Tornado alarm. Uh, all right. And then when we realize how they spin up really fast right before they die. Oh, yeah. That's like, that's... From editing, I could you, like you can. I remember editing and going through them and they start at a high pitch and they get lower and lower. You know? Uh, yeah. Yeah. You can see it on the waveform. You can see it like, yeah. kind of go down. <laughs> yeah. And then they spike up one last time and they go. <laughs> <laughs> and he's just like, yeah, I've always thought it'd be funny to tell them that we need to set you up for a silent lunk alarm. It's just the light. We need to put your lunk alarm in silent mode and just have him do that. Should, I should get a lunk alarm here for the situation room. Put it up on the wall. <laughs> Jesus. Every time I'm being a lunk in here. Yeah, whenever make it I, internet enabled. So whenever, people can get. whenever I drop something, <laughs> I set it off. Let Patreon people uh, set it off remotely. <laughs> During my calls. <laughs> we doing it like four in the morning. <laughs> have you ever heard my uh, cacti alarm? No, you have a cacti alarm? Yeah, here, listen to this. That's that old <laughs> that old man. The uh, I don't go to the go cut places. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's how Ooh. I get people off the phone. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. Thank you for calling up. 
Planet Fitness. This is Tanya. How can I help you today? Hey, Tanya. This is uh, Roy. I'm a helicopter pilot with the corporate office with Planet Fitness. Okay. Uh, we're going to be landing on your roof here in just a few minutes. <laughs> <laughs> what are you laughing for? I don't think that we have that space available, sir. <laughs> oh, no, it's just it's a small chopper. Uh, it's just going to be landing on the roof here in just a second. <laughs> what's, what's the problem? Actually, let me let you talk to my shift lead, Javante. Here you go, sir. Okay, that's fine. Hello, this is Javante. Hey there. Um, I'm not sure what she's laughing about. I'm calling from the corporate office with Planet Fitness. This is Roy. Is your bell? Yes. Um, you say it's who here? Roy Zerbell. We're going to be landing uh, the helicopter, the company helicopter, on your roof here in just a few minutes. This is actually something we do from time to time. I'm just letting you know we're going to be landing there. Um, okay. Um, what, what was, I'm sorry. What was your name again? Roy Zerbell. You'll see me in the company directory. This is not a joke. I, I need to let you know that we're going to be landing... Um, do you have uh, access to the roof? Like, is there a hatch to go up on the roof? Um, hold on one need... second. I just put you on hold for one second. Sure, why? Yeah. Um, just got to let my system manager know what's going on. Okay, cause... yeah. Well, he'll yeah. believe me. I don't know why you guys are laughing at me. I'm not laughing. But I'm going to need you to, um, like, just so we can locate the building... We need you to set off the lunk alarm real quick. Okay. Hold on. Or hurry up. How long? Jewish princess is just now noticing that the Mixler volume goes to 11. <laughs> Welcome like eight years ago, lady. Yeah. You're so slow. Thank you for holding. This is Aaron speaking. How can I help you? Hey, Aaron. It's Roy from the corporate office. I'm, uh, we're we're going to be landing a helicopter on the roof here in just a few minutes. I'm sorry? We're, we're landing our, the corporate office helicopter on the roof in a few minutes. We're going to be visiting your store. Okay. Did, 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 uh, did they tell you we're coming in? No, not at all. Okay, yeah, we're just, it, it's uh, me and uh, Mr. Cross. Uh, we're just hey, going to be visiting the premises there for a little while. We're going to be landing the corporate chopper on the roof. And the, the May I ask this? How do you guys plan on getting down off the roof? <laughs> uh, we've got that all taken care of. Like, it's nothing you need to worry about. We just need you to turn on the lunk alarm so we can uh, home in on the location there. Okay. I mean, I haven't been informed anything about this. I mean, definitely not a problem. You guys are absolutely more than welcome to come on in. Okay. Yeah. I just haven't been advised of anything of this nature, but that's completely okay. Yeah, we don't usually come in on Sundays. Um, do you have? Are you at the front desk right now, though? Yes, I am. Okay, if you could just turn on the lunk alarm switch for just a few minutes. We've got our helicopter set to the same frequency. It'll automatically... I mean, with all due respect, I have a club full of members right now, and I just don't want to set off a lunk alarm with members, of course, if yep. nobody is committing any policy violations yep. or anything like that. No, no, this is for the helicopter, though. This is more important than just policy violations. Well, no, it, no, I mean, I understand it's the helicopter, but my members are just as important, man, too, and we, I just don't, we don't, I don't want to distract anybody. We don't want to land workout. on the wrong roof, and if you don't set off the lunk alarm immediately, we're going to end up landing on the wrong roof. Just turn it on. We're right in the area. We're in the vicinity. We've got the frequency homing device turned on. We'll be there in just a minute, but you have to turn it on so we can find the place. Okay, well, give me just one second. I'll just call my regional manager and no, get an offer. It's going to be too I'll late. We're, be we're more running out of fuel, okay? ma'am. We're running out of fuel. Please hurry. I will call my regional manager. How long is it going to from there? Okay, let's put him on three-way. What's the number? I cannot give out her number. I no, can call hurry. her directly. We just, like, ma'am. Oh there, crap! Okay? Crap, ma'am. Look, we're declaring an emergency. Oh shit! We're gonna, ma'am. Just turn on the lunk alarm. Turn on the lunk alarm. Ooh, ooh, we have ooh, an emergency here. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Again, I will call my oh, regional yeah. manager and I'll move forward from there. Okay. Uh, I was just kidding about the emergency. I'm just trying to get you to set off the lunk alarm. 
I'm sorry. I, I was just kidding about the emergency. I'm just like, really, though, we want to land. We've been up in the air for over an hour now. I'm ready to land. I, I understand that, land but the, if I haven't just, been advised of something, I am not I with a club full of members going to set off a lung tur- alarm just turn if it, nobody's committed like, any policy violations it doesn't and matter. disrupt all the D- members just, within the club. It's not going to disrupt just them. They're used to it. They're used to being shamed. This is Planet well, Fitness. Please, uh, Please understand from my position as the assistant manager of this club, I'm not the club manager, and okay, I want to get further off. You don't need to talk down to me. I'm from the damn corporate office, lady. I'm I'm not a lady, first of all. I'm a gentleman. Secondary to that, okay, I, I, my apologies, but I do not know who you are, Look, and I have ma'am, to clear that on my ma'am, end, okay? Ma'am, just set off the lunk alarm. I it'll am just a t- sir. It'll just I take am a, a sir. It'll just take Aaron's, a, Aaron's a girl's name. Aaron is also a gentleman's name as well, okay? I will call my regional manager, and if you call me back in two I minutes, you, I'll get f- clearance on that, fucking, okay? Fucking 2018, everyone wants us to, like, just go along with their gender choices. It wasn't like this okay, in the old days. At this point, if you are from my corporate office and you're disclosing that type of information to me, then this does need to go more human resources. No, aspect. no, because don't be not, like that. Don't, ma'am, ma'am, okay? come on, ma'am, please. I, I, at this time, I'm going to end bitch. the call and I will contact my regional manager directly. Do it, and bitch. she can contact set, you, okay? Listen, set the lunk alarm off on him for saying those things. Have a wonderful day. I will contact my regional. Yeah, that's okay? all I was going for. I just wanted you to set it off on me. There we go. Well, that got weird. <laughs> Adolf Nippler's like file mis- fire missiles at him. Drop nuclear waste on him. I had no- bowling ball. Bowling ball. <laughs> yeah. We we should we should call Planet Fitness. Yeah, we're we're gonna be dropping down some supplies for you <laughs> onto the roof. Or out in front. Hey, yeah, I wonder if we could just say we're gonna drop some pl- supplies out in front. Like you, you can call any store and just say, hey, we're, <laughs> we're just dropping off this creative. N- new, you know. new company uniforms. Yeah. I call clothing stores, but hey, we're dropping off a creative underwear. <laughs> Victoria's Secret, they're probably like, oh, oh. okay. <laughs> they're not going to be in boxes. <laughs> Let's drop panties. <laughs> Thank you for calling Planet Fitness. This is Lindsay. How can I help you? L- Lindsay, it's Roy from the corporate office. I'm here with my co pilot, Cross. Can you, Hi. Can, can you hear us okay? Uh, yeah, a little bit. It's kind of it's kind of fuzzy. I can hear you, though. Okay, I'm sorry. We're, we're in a helicopter right now. We're getting ready to approach your location. We're going to be dropping off some new supplies. Okay. Um, is there anyone out in the parking lot right now? Because we need to make sure there's not, because we're going to be dropping some boxes with parachutes. You're dropping boxes with parachutes to the parking lot? Yeah, it's, for, it's new supplies. It's new company uniforms and some other things, uh, paper towels, just stuff like that. T-shirts okay. for new members. Yeah. Um, just a couple crates. The parking lot looks like there is kind of cars in okay, it we're just um, unless it's like over to the side oh, oh, can you do us a favor uh, can you ask any members who are parked to move their vehicles to the outside parts yeah set off the lunk alarm to get their attention just go yeah just a couple times flick it yeah and just say everyone if we need you to move your cars please and just have them move out like to the furthest area back okay and do you have any um, fireworks there inside um, okay, it just might take a second. I don't know how far you're out. Uh, we're, we're approaching quickly. Um, yeah, go, go ahead and do that, but we need you to confirm that you've done that so that we know that you know the vehicles are clear. We're, we'll hold. Okay, yeah, let me just put you on hold. All right. Thank you. Yep. Oh, come on. Oh. Fucking music. Uh, yeah, we need her to set off fireworks so we know. <laughs> but if she doesn't have them, the lunk alarm will do. Tell her they're in the back in the, in the, the secret. <laughs> the box labeled helicopter flares. Yeah. <laughs> Just tell her to open her manual. Oh, I think um, I, I think this is Mr. Biggs. He was saying like we should call someone's house and say that we were uh, we we were um, follow we're with the news. We were following a guy in a stolen car and we lost him, but their car is about the same as the. <laughs> 
<laughs> the stolen car. So can they get in their car and just drive around really fast? Let's <laughs> get some footage of you. <laughs> we need some stock footage. <laughs> Tell me at the camera off. We we just need, <laughs> we need some footage for the chase that happened earlier. Yeah, we just need you to drive around for a little bit. We'll send some police park, after you. Park on the side of the road and run out of the car. <laughs> the, the girl we just talked to <laughs> just imagine her <laughs> trying to explain to everybody right now what's going on yeah, no. if I was on YouTube right now I'd be setting off copyright alarms with this music I bet demonetized yeah fucking YouTube I read uh, yesterday they're cracking down on channels that repost content um, without permission or whatever Hmm. And okay. that's kind of scary because that's what they say I'm doing, even though I'm not. Yeah, so they say Dwight did. Yeah, yeah, he got the same notification. It's like a blanket thing. That's yeah, everyone's getting that. But they don't. They don't explain the algorithm. Yeah, so now I've got to worry about that. They're just going to completely delete my Snowplow Show channel next. Hi. Hello. Hello. Um, yeah, so we're not really expecting any deliveries today. Yeah, well, you're going to get them. They're going to come in the parking lot. We're going to need you to move them inside. And uh, um, and don't throw away the parachutes. They're, you need to store those just in the back room or wherever. We'll, we'll uh, send someone to retrieve those later. Um, I mean, I can't really go and tell everybody to move their cars. Okay, it's so. fine. We'll, we'll do our best. We'll try not to hit anything. It's just a safety All thing, right. mostly. All right, sounds good. Yep. But uh, can you? Hey, what were you doing that whole time? And now you say you can't do it. I don't understand. Huh? What were you doing that whole time? Um, I called my manager. What the manager really? say? Huh? What the manager say? That we're not expecting a delivery. Okay. Because it's Sunday. We're nearly to the location. Can you turn on the lunk alarm? We're gonna zero in on the uh, the sound, the sound waves. Um, I mean, I'm not going to turn on the alarm, but if you want to try and not hit a car... Well, it's just the lunk alarm. Just go turn, for it. We just need you to turn it on. We, we can pick it up in 10 seconds. Pick what up? The, the lunk alarm, the sound. It, it zeroes in on the, on the frequency. That's how we land, know where to land. Oh, well, you should have the location, then. I can't do that. Sorry. Well, it's getting dark out. Um... Um, no, but yeah, good luck dropping this stuff off. All right. I'll try not to smash your car. <laughs> this is kind of fun. It is fun. It's a good Sunday night. Sunday day. <laughs> yeah, I keep thinking it's dark over there. It's only 2.30 here. Or it's, it's, not uh, dark. it's not dark where you are yet, is it? In about a month, it will be dark at this time, probably. Okay. Uh, but not yet. We're not ah. that bad. When's our time change? It's coming up soon, right? It's got to be. Probably, yeah. yeah. Up, up in the sky, uh, though, it gets darker quicker in the helicopter. You know how? E Echo, when does uh, the time... Echo, when does the time change? In 2018, daylight saving time began on Sunday, March 11th at 2 a.m. Not that one. November 4th at 2 a.m. Oh, what is it? November 4th? Yep. Okay. You want this? You want, should I do another Planet Fitness? Do you want it? Yeah. Okay. Helicopter or no helicopter? Uh, yeah, helicopter. Thank you for calling Planet Fitness. This is Jade. How can I help you? Yeah, hi. This is Cross. I'm with the corporate office. Hello? Who is this? I'm sorry. My name is Mr. Cross. I'm with the corporate office in Connecticut. This is Jade. Yeah, you Jade? Sure. Okay, good. We got the right one then. We had a little bit of confusion. I have my pilot on the way. He's in one of the helicopters that we've leased out. I'm on He's the line too, ma'am. Hello. Yeah. Hi. Uh, what's your ETA to uh, this location? The ETA right now is about six minutes. We should be landing. We're going to land in the parking lot if the roof is too small. Yeah, ma'am. He needs to land in the parking lot. Uh, do you have a lot of cars in your parking in the parking lot right now at this location uh there's not a whole lot of parking like cars in the parking lot but i don't know how many you know it will be a problem okay are you able to activate the lunk alarm just to get people's attention and ask them to if they can move their vehicles to the uh okay. for this part in the back give me one second oh, what are you doing there we go <laughs> this is the, the i think they just call 
the managers. Man. Ah, such soothing music. Yeah. I like that they're probably calling your managers on a Sunday. <laughs> At home. <laughs> At home. <laughs> Sunday dinner and shit. What the fuck are you talking about? You're like, what now, Michelle? No, the something. corporate office would not land a helicopter. In the parking lot. No. Hello. Yes. Hello. Uh, hello. What was the the problem, sir? My name is My name is Cross. I'm calling from Connecticut, the corporate office. I have a pilot on the line and a loose helicopter. He needs to land in the parking lot. Our ETA is about five minutes now, Mr. Cross. We're gonna be there in five minutes. I understand. I'm, I'm trying um, to get him to. Uh, hello. Yeah. Who am I? Uh, who so am there, I speaking with? There's definitely room in the parking lot if somebody really does need to do that in the back. Like the whole back half of the parking lot is completely empty. Could you ask him to go ahead and set off the lunk alarm so we can zero in on the frequencies? Yeah, we we actually utilize the lunk alarm. The helicopter has an apparatus that will use that to kind of zero in on the location. Yeah. Um. Give me. One second. Our manager right now is on the phone and will be like literally less than a minute. Uh, well, if he could turn on now to help me find the location, sir. Just hurry up, please. You. Yep. Fuck! Come on. <laughs> Got the manager on. Oh no. Oh shit. Fuck! Uh oh. Just kidding. <laughs> uh -huh. That's a, the only the managers know the truth here. Apparently, yeah. everyone else is like, oh. like, wait a minute. You can land a helicopter. Oh. <laughs> that guy was all for it at first. Yeah. Um, how about Seven Elevens? Oh, I don't know how that's going to go. Yeah, we could try. I still think Walmart might be fun, but yeah, you're right. The, the wait for a manager is going to be. Yeah, yeah, we could try one or two or three. Yeah. Thank you for calling your local Walmart. Oh, we forgot to ask for uh, refueling. And I regret jumping says we need to empty. Calling you, I like to do 2%. How can I help you? Yeah, hi. My name is Cross. I'm calling from the corporate office in Bentonville. You are a manager? Well, I work at the corporate office. I'm a senior vice right. president. What do you think? Just, just a minute, I'll get you. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. Just a minute. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Told her. Uh, I like their old music a little better. Let's relax. Thank you for holding. This is assistant manager Tabitha. How can I help you? Hi, Tabitha. My name is Cross. I'm calling from Bentonville. Where are you calling from? I'm calling from the corporate office, Bentonville. Okay, how can I help you? Okay, well, we have apparently there's a situation there with a possible unionization. Were you aware of that? I can barely understand you. There's a situation at this location regarding possible unionization. Regarding what? Unionization. Union. Can I get another number to call you back, Chris? I'm not getting a clear connection. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Fucking shit, oh, you. You're not corporate. Don't call back. Fuck you. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> I could hear you just fine. I don't know why she couldn't. Ah, it's full of shit. I heard you both. Damn her. Man, she really yelled. Yeah. <laughs> not corporate. Don't call Thank back you here. For calling your local Walmart. Same one, different one. Uh, different one. Oh, well. So, I guess Walmart told me I help you. Hey, it's Captain Cross from Bentonville from the corporate office. I just need to talk to a manager. Oh, yeah, sure. I can uh, connect you with assistant manager Michaela. Okay, yeah. One moment, please. Stat. Tell him mm -hmm. I'm in a Huey. Okay, one moment, please. Tell him Stat. Thank you. Needs to make a crash landing. Right in the center, center of the store. Yeah. It's gonna come in the front doors. <laughs> gonna park in the garden. Shit, I bet you they're designed to have like a. You can make a helicopter pad Hello? off the top. Uh, yeah, uh, what message was that she says? She cannot talk right now. I don't know. She's busy or 
something. She she has something in hand. Okay, listen, listen. I'm with the, we're uh-huh. with the corporate office. I'm here in Bentonville. Okay. My name is uh, Cross. Well, I'm, I'm not right? hearing you very well. So I'm sorry. What's why do you why do you people keep saying that? Don't lie. Hello. Hello. I'm not hearing you very well, sir. All right. Maybe we can shut off the helicopter. Should turn off the helicopter. All right. That's good. We're gonna, we're gonna fall though. Yeah, no, it's all right. Don't worry. You get you get some time. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know uh, why you say that. Uh, let me look at the sound settings. I think everything's set up right, though. Yeah, your volume's up. I'm here talking. How's it look? Yeah, the volumes are all good. Shit. It's full of shit. shit. Those last two people, they're full of shit. They don't know what they're talking about. All right, one more Walmart manager. All right. This will be the one. It's going to work for Thank sure this time. Local Walmart. Thank you for calling your local Walmart. Do you do that pickup stuff? Yeah, you know, like instead of going grocery shopping, you just order it online and go pick it up. Oh, I've been wanting to, yeah. I was talking to someone about that. Was Hello? Hello? Is yes, this... hello. Yes, you are called your local Walmart. Save money a little better. How may I help you? Okay, this, this is Cross. I'm with the corporate Ooh. office in Bentonville. Is there a manager available, MOD? You need a manager? Yeah, is the MOD there? I'm calling from the corporate office. We need to speak to the manager on duty as soon as possible, the MOD. Okay, could you hold, please? Tell them it's a level 11 call. They have to get on as soon as possible. Thank you so much, ma'am. Level 11. Could you hold, please? I have to be able to get to a uh, yes. a manager. Yes. Level 11. Yeah. Yes, we will hold. <laughs> I don't know what to do until you say yes. But she didn't answer right. Like, hello? I, I was talking. Yeah. I blame you. Should I put on helicopter or... I don't know. Since the sound is having issues. See what, hap- see what happens to that. She heard you just fine. That lady right there. Actually, yeah. That's right. Yeah. Is Tiffany here? Can I help you? Hi, Tiffany. Are you the manager on duty? The MOD? Yes. Yeah. Okay, good. My name is Cross. I'm calling from the corporate office in Bentonville. Okay. Okay, we're. I have. I currently have a helicopter en route to your location. Uh, there's a report of a unionization attempt for tonight. This is uh, Captain Roy. I'm the pilot. I'm. I'm uh, on the phone too. I'm on the line too, ma'am. My ETA is about uh, 11 minutes right now. Uh, okay. You. You said that. And who is this? My name is Cross. I'm with the anti-union department in Bentonville, in the corporate office. They said their name is... Okay. You said your name is Cross? Cross, right. And we received a report, an anonymous tip, that there's going to be a unionization vote attempt tonight at this location. Okay. Yeah, so we're going to be landing a helicopter. We would prefer to do it on the roof. I'm sorry, what? Um, can you, can I put you on hold? I need to call my market manager. Okay, uh, quickly though, because he's, uh, pilot, how far out are you? At nine minutes ETA, we really need to get that roof light on. Can she, can she just turn on the landing lights before she gets on the phone with anyone? Yeah, we need you to open up your manual and turn to page 13, section A in the appendix. It has instructions for a helicopter landing on the roof. Otherwise, we're going to run out of fuel here. Okay, where I'm gonna have to get my map them online. So okay. give me one give well, me one minute. Why don't you stop talking who, who, about it and do it? I'm sorry, who are you talking about? Who are you gonna get on the line? I need to get my map them. Okay, thank you. Listen. ETA, seven minutes, seven minutes and counting. We're going to have to circle the store for a little while, Mr. Cross. They can't Don't get... worry. I know, we'll figure this out. Don't worry.
Six minutes cross, six minutes we'll be at the Walmart landing on the roof in six minutes. I can try and do a landing without the lights on, but it's uh, not recommended. I can yeah, it's not, it's not ideal. I could hit an air conditioning unit. We don't want that. Nope. Oh, sir, we do not want you to land there. I don't want to come through the ceiling. They're talking they're landing on the roof in six minutes. I could, I could probably uh, maneuver through the air conditioning units by doing a barrel roll, possibly. This is Captain Roy. I have the Walmart sign in my uh, view right now. We're just a few miles out. Should be about four minutes. Okay, go ahead and start your uh, pre-landing checklist. Hopefully, All right. They All right. Let me turn to page three. Maybe if uh, did, 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 did the Walmart employees have those reflective vests? They could put those on. I could shine my spotlight down. Try and get an idea of landing. It's not ideal. I know. They're really making this hard on us. Hey, can you tell me where you're calling from? I'm calling from Bentonville. My name is Mr. Cross. I'm also on the line. I'm uh, 20,000 feet in the air right now. Coming in quick. Okay, where where are you planning on landing? On the roof, sir. On the roof. Like, can you turn yeah. on the roof lights for me, please? We, need you to we don't have to, roof lights. We need you to turn to Section 3 in the manual regarding helicopter landing from the corporate office. There's a unionization attempt that's going to occur here tonight according to an anonymous tip that we received on the line. Okay, yeah, we don't have lights on the roof for landing helicopters. You don't know what you're talking about, sir. Every Walmart yeah. has these. Yeah, there's clear you not, setups. You would not be able to there's... land on our building. Oh, we're definitely landing on the building with or without the lights. We're coming in. ETA is three minutes now. Sir, all the stores are equipped for helicopter landing from corporate in a situation like this. You need to turn to the page, section three in the manual, it has all the instructions. There's a certain switch in the break where the breaker box is. Look There's also it should, it should be a hatch to the roof, hatch access. If they can't figure this out, we need to just have all the employees get flashlights and get up on the roof right now. So you're telling me you wouldn't be able to see the roof to land? Well, with the, the, the sun still out? You wouldn't be able to see where the roof is? Well, no, but the sun's you behind us, and it's darker up here, up in the air. You don't know how, uh, you know, the, the atmosphere works and stuff. Because like, you're just an employee. He's a pilot, sir. He knows what yeah, he's doing. Yeah, I know about. what I'm doing. Okay, we, we don't have lights on the roof. Like, we, Listen, we don't have uh, access uh, to any of that. Sir, we have a helicopter with several high senior vice, you know, senior VPs on here. That are coming in to take care of the situation. If you make There's them parachute, be... so, so... they're not going to be happy. Are you part of the unionization attempt, the collective bargaining? Is that why this is? I think it's camp. There's no way. They would have been able to contact your bird and any of them. We wouldn't have contacted him in this kind of a situation, sir. You don't know what you're talking about. We would need a first. We, can we get a first and last name or a user ID? Ruben Cross. That's me. But I'm I'm what in is it? I'm in I'm in Bentonville. Okay. All right. And what was the first I name? Can, I, I'll Ruben R U B E N. I'll connect. I mean, the pilot's on the line. He can tell you more directly what's going on. But he needs to land, sir. What's this guy's name, Mr. Cross? What's your name, sir? And what's your, what's, your, what's your user ID? What's your name, sir? What is your user ID? I want you to go out in the parking lot. I'm going to dump my pee bucket on, on, your, on your head. So you're making us, giving us all this trouble. We're going to have a union. Oh. <laughs> he didn't seem to be buying it. He got me on the user ID. <laughs>
I like how they're spreading this. They're gonna land a helicopter. I feel like they were all just frantically running around and yeah. trying to figure things out. Yeah. She's like, oh, it's busy. <laughs> just I getting the voicemail, I mean. I can't get through. Man, we're gonna have to get going. We've been on for like three hours. Yeah. I'd, I'd kind of like to try and make a 7 Eleven blink the lights. Oh, wait, no, it's not dark yet. Damn it. I keep thinking it's dark. We're gonna have to do yeah, this man. again at nighttime and make people blink lights and stuff. Yeah, in November. Yeah. We can call hosp- hospitals. Too. Yeah, let's call some hospitals. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna land. Can you put a patient on the phone? We wanna do a survey from the helicopter. Well, damn it. That, that, nah. they're, they're not gonna flip all the switches if it's daytime out. I could lower the bucket for refueling. It's gonna put it. Well, I've had fun doing this. Thanks for coming on, Carlito. It's been fun. Gotta do it again. Yeah. More helicopter rides. Hey there, uh, this is Roy. I'm a helicopter pilot. We're flying above your location right now. Um, I've got Cross on the line with me. Hello. Can you hear? Can you hear us both? Okay. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna be dropping a hose here in a minute down next to one of the gas pumps. We're running low on fuel. What? What? Um. Whoa. What? Okay. We're, we're, <laughs> we're, we're going to be dropping a hose. And we're going to need you to uh, put fuel into the hose. Like, with the with the pump? Yeah, yeah. Just uh, We're, we're going to have you pump the fuel into the hose. We're, we're not allowed to land in this area, but we need fuel. <laughs> so we can... No. You're in a helicopter above me? Yeah, yeah, we're right above the store. Can you see us out there? Can you hear us? Um, honestly, no. You're at 13 and... Yeah, correct. Yes, we're exactly there. That's a little weird. Okay, Um. so you guys are like critical on fuel? You're, you're well, kind of I wouldn't say critical. Now. It's not dangerous <laughs> or anything. Um, Carlito's going to lower the bucket out, or the, the hose... And we're gonna have a um, a fifty dollar bill taped to the end of it for for pay- for payment. <laughs> okay. Okay. It's uh, not fun. Okay. Yeah. Is but, this what kind of fuel do you want? Um, what kind of fuel does it take? He's the he's the captain. Just a minute. Put him we on the line. Diesel. We have eighty seven, eighty nine, and ninety three. Which you want? Uh, the ninety three. We need the highest octane possible. Okay, I thought so. <laughs> uh, do, do you, That's actually really weird. Okay, all right. I guess I'll be out there in a second. All right. Do you have more than one person working there so you can go out there and wait for the hose to come down? Cause you, yeah, we only have one person. I'm I'm the only one here. Let me take care of this customer, and then you guys can do that. Okay, we're gonna start okay. lowering it. It's gonna take a few minutes. We're gonna need you to grab it and and you know just start it up. <laughs> okay. I can do that for you. Okay, we'll hold. Okay, go ahead and take care Thanks. of it. No, don't don't hang. Right. Up. Don't hang up. Don't hang up. Don't hang up. I won't hang up. Okay. I'll I'll put to you guys right here. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much, ma'am. Absolutely. <laughs> so she bu- is she buying it? I think so. Seven wants us to ask what flavors of slushies do they have? Yeah, so the slushy. <laughs> They probably got that hush puppy slush. Slush puppies. Yeah. I think 7 Eleven is strictly slurpy. <laughs> so, why can't you guys go to the airport? I mean, I'm not, I'm, I'll do it, I guess, if you have the money, but. Yeah, if you could, just, just run out there real quick. We've got the hose almost lowered. Uh, do you have a cordless phone? No, I don't. Not right now. Uh, can you run out there real quick? You should be able to see the hose at this point. Um, I'm just gonna like you don't have to sit there and hold it or anything. If you could just you know just put the gas nozzle in there and hit the button, take the money. Hold on. <laughs> um. I uh, hold on. Okay. Oh, yeah, Anchor says we should get her cell phone number. Yeah. We should get a customer to do it. Do you want to talk to her when she comes back? Sure. Okay. 
I could do that. Explain why the hose isn't visible yet. Yeah. Landed on the roof. This girl's out there looking for the fucking hose. Y'all are so pulling my leg because there is no helicopter right now. Oh, we're, we're really high up right now. You wouldn't be able to hear us. But we did lower the hose down. It looks like it landed on the roof. And I'm trying to pull it back with the winch, but it's stuck on something. Dude, I can't. No, there's not. There, I can't even hear it. What? Oh my gosh. Hold on. You wouldn't. You wouldn't hear. It. <laughs> I just gotta take care of a customer real quick. It's not like we're gonna like crash into the store any second now. All right. <laughs> Ask about hot dogs. I'm sorry, I had another customer. Hey, also, um, like, we're going to lower a bucket. We put a bucket on the end of the hose that has the money in it. Can you add a hot dog onto that? Dude, get out of here. Add a hot dog and just put make put the change off the 50 and in the fuel. <laughs> Dude, get out of here. Ma'am, this is important. Please, come on. Just go check again, again real quick. No, we don't even do hot dogs. Oh, you don't? What about Slurpees? No! What oh my god, y'all are insane. What flavor of Slurpees do you have? Get out of here, dude. <laughs> Get out of here, dude. I'm not your dude, cowboy. <laughs> you got me so dead ass. <laughs> what, what do you mean? You got me so dead ass, dude. Oh my god. I was like, no way. Don't even. Yeah, were you out there, like, looking up in the sky for a hose to fall down? I am not going to... Like, for real, just be honest, were you? <laughs> I was. I legit <laughs> okay, actually, you know what? No, I wasn't out there looking up at the sky. I, a customer was. I just <laughs> talked to a customer, right? And she, she was like, that is, there's no way, right? Mm. And so I went outside, and I was like, there's no fucking way. And she was like, yeah, there's nothing. No, we were going to suck the hose, the gas up through the hose. We were going to, like, siphon it. <laughs> Carlito was gonna like, you know, just suck it up Dude. through this 100 foot hose. <laughs> huh. Can we tell you who else we've called today, ma'am? Yes, you can tell me who else you called today. Alright, what do we do, Cross? We, uh, we call it Planet Fitness. We told them we were gonna drop crates with parachutes into their parking lot. With <laughs> <laughs> we call out of people running for office. <laughs> For a fucking fact, this was ridiculous, and I was like, "No way!" Because there's an airport right fucking there, dude. Yeah, well, <laughs> we're not allowed there anymore since the incident. Who are you guys? We we've been calling up people running for office and saying we're flying over their house, and their opposing candidate has had a spine on them from a helicopter. So I'm assuming, call, like in the background, that's just like a five-hour loop of like helicopter? No, we're really in a helicopter. We're just making prank calls from the helicopter. <laughs> we found our cell phone. Where are you guys from? Like, what are you doing? <laughs> from the Air Force. Oh yeah, my god, y'all got me dead ass. Thank you for this. Yeah, I needed this so bad. We're, we're military, ma'am. We told this one lady we, we like accidentally dropped a bird out of the helicopter and it landed in her yard. Oh, that poor thing. <laughs> what else did we oh do? God, we said we were throwing yeah. quarters at, at their house. Yeah, and we were shooting at these horses too over our farm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we had we had, we had uh, the the M16s like aimed at their horses and we're just mowing them down. Yeah. <laughs> no, dude. <laughs> oh, and I took a shit outside the on the someone's lawn. Okay, well, I'm glad y'all not y'all not gonna die if I don't yeah, Car suck Car up a hose over there. Yeah, Car Carlito. Good. Carlito had to take a shit, so he just stuck his ass out the helicopter window, and like I sh would. shit on some lady's roof. I would, honestly. I bet. Oh, I'd like to see. Like, that. why not? Like, who are they gonna call? Yeah, yeah, we're the fucking military. Like, Fuck are, those motherfuckers. Do you guys even have a fucking bathroom on a helicopter? No, of course not. We have a pee. We have a yeah. bucket. Yeah, we have a bucket for peeing. <laughs> Fucking grade 93 fuel over here. <laughs>
<laughs> well, actually, actually, now that you mentioned it, we've been on the phone for so long, we actually think we might need to actually do that. That's good. You guys can go do that at the airport. Don't, don't make us crash into your store. Uh, please do, honestly. We, we actually are getting kind of low. I'm that embarrassed. <laughs> you, you kept us on the phone for so long. <laughs> I hope y'all are recording this and you're going to put it on YouTube because I, uh, I'll be famous. Oh, no. Oh, 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 oh fuck. Oh, no. Fuck, we're having problems, oh, ma'am. shit. We're running out of fuel. We're, go we're, going, we're going into a tailspin, ma'am. This is not good. Oh, great. Fuck. Oh, no. Shit. Yes. Oh. Critical fuel uh, alarm. You're going to fucking die now. Evacuate the, my lazy ass. Evacuate the premises, ma'am. We're coming in. We're coming in. Come down. We're going to be coming down hard. Mayday. Oh, well. Mayday. Mayday. I hung up on her. <laughs> All right. That was kind of fun. <laughs> she had fun with it. That's good. Yeah. She actually we, went out there. Oh, her customer did. We got her dead ass. Dead ass. Yeah. Yeah. Is that a... Th I, I've never heard that... Ter I mean, I've not, not in that way anyway. <laughs> yeah. I've never heard <laughs> dead to rights. Yeah. yeah. I've never heard dead ass. Yeah. I think that's a perfect way to end today's show. I agree. It's been fun, Brad. Yeah, we fuck this, this shit. More it's been over. We always talk about doing this together. And we never we do. Are. Last week, we were going to do this, and fucking Matt Hillock and fucking Zax did a yeah. show, and we couldn't do a show because they did a show. They stole our airtime. Bunch of bums. So I threw a tantrum, and, and yeah, never Quit. mind. <laughs> Stirred your old network. That's right. So, uh, yeah, yeah, I'm glad we finally got to do this. Yeah. It's been fun. Good. All right. Thanks for having me. Hi, bye, everyone in PLA land. Madhouse Hello. Live, everyone. Carly Not does cool. shows on Thursday nights now. Yes. They're lots of fun. Thank you. Yeah, I enjoy them. Good. Me too. All right. Did you hang up? All right. All right. Nope. Okay. But I can. I will hang up now. You don't See have you to. There. All right. Bye. Bye, Carlito. All right. There, there goes Carlito. Now that he's gone, we can get started with the real show. It's going to be great. You guys ready? No, just kidding. Bye, everyone. Thanks for listening. Hey, Roy. It's Bandit, the male stripper. Hey. his way through hematology school as usual. Okay. I've got a great idea for an automatic redial show. All right, do it. Um, Let's hear it. Play, play the one, play that old PLA podcast from like 2006 or 2007 where you send out rant, uh, text to like thousands of random people saying fuck you motherfucker okay that is like the most awesome podcast ever is it you should uh, you should make that an automatic redial I'm yeah, sure it is some of the some of your newer listeners would love it wasn't that one only like 20 minutes long though I don't know maybe I was planning to just put you know old snowplow shows up in the automatic redial but I guess I could do other shows too like PLA radio maybe a phone show or two so okay i'm putting it in the notes right now maybe i'll put that up next time i do a redial show do you all think i should do more automatic redial shows like should i be doing once a month or once a week or is that too much to be putting on the feeds let me know what you think about that because i don't know how often to do it i don't know if it's annoying or if you guys are enjoying them hey roy this is miguel b i just signed up i just went up to the five dollar level on Thanks, patreon miguel and b. i got all those old hobo shows to just laugh my ass off thanks man keep up the good work you're just getting better all the time like a fine wine dude wow thanks. awesome great job okay. talk to you later and it looks like he left another voicemail and i'm only gonna play it because he was nice and complimented me in the previous one hey uh miguel b here again i forgot to tell you man this is interesting so i used to work on the phone a lot you know and uh uh, you know, actively, actively, not so actively recently, but just listening to the way you handle people on, it's actually improving my, the way I handle people properly well, that's on good. the phone. It's just it's great, amazing, man. Public service. Thank good you. Good job. Bye. If only I could do that in real life. But yeah, I'm glad it's helping you out. You know, something I have started doing in real life is that when people call me, like people like to call me boss and I hate that. And in the past couple of months, I've actually told two different people, I'm not your boss, chief. And they just kind of look at me when I say that. They, they don't know what to think of that. It's pretty great. It's very awkward. I did that at the McDonald's drive through about a month ago. And then two months ago, was at a Walmart. I think I need to try being an asshole more in real life. Roy. Yeah? Why'd you ask my wife what kind of meat she wants to eat? I don't know. I would like to know what kind of meat you like to eat. 
I don't remember asking someone. You give me a call back. Or a meet. I bring my partners with me. You bring what with you? Okay, whatever. That was weird. Hey, Brad. Hey. It's Will again. Hey, Will. I know it's Will. been a little while since I called, but uh, I want to congratulate you on 500 motherfucking episodes, man. 504. That's fucking awesome. You're behind. I know I'm about four episodes late, probably, oh, yeah, but okay. uh, I just want to say, man, that's a pretty big milestone. Uh, also, those FedEx delivery uh, pranks that you put out were pretty top notch. Wow, well, uh, I gotta you. say, as far as uh, I sure goes, enjoyed them. Uh, other than that, man, I was wondering if maybe you had... I was talking to Mr. Biggs about that recently, and we came up with this analogy. The FedEx pranks are kind of like telling somebody that they have a present and then not giving it to them. Because you know how excited you get when, when you got a package coming in the mail. It's usually a good thing. I'm telling people they have a package in the mail, and I'm like, oh, yeah, by the way, it's in the neighbor's pool. Or I left it down the street. It's probably going to get stolen. Me dream a great idea. Prank shows planned i really love those late night dream calls where you call them up and have all kinds of weird dreams about them leaving the <laughs> trash out and stuff but yeah. uh, i think i've gone over the time so goodbye brad yes you did Until next time it's okay though i do want to do more dream episodes i feel like we haven't used those to their full potential yet hey Oof. brad bulldog 47 hey. um what? i was listening to the snowplow show and uh you were saying one of your your characters you know steve dave and the lady's ass was like, oh, Steve, Dave, well, what's the last name? Dave? That's the, you know. And you're like, no, no, only, I only have one name, just, just Steve, Dave. That's right. So I was thinking, uh, you should have a last name, too, just in case they ask that. And, uh, you know, Steve, Dave is like a mixture between two first names. I was thinking the last name could be something like Gary Carl. So, like, your name would be, like, Steve, Dave, Gary Carl. <laughs> like, it's a mouthful. So, I, I don't know. Just, yeah. Why just not? Just throwing a suggestion out there. Okay. Bye. I'll try to work that in one of these days. Steve Dave Thompson Reynolds or Steve Dave Baker Fitzgerald. I don't know. It just kind of sounds like a hyphenated last name, like he got married and he doesn't wear the pants in the family. That's going to do it for today's show. Thank you once again to Stan Trucker and Cody No Name and B.I. Eber for life, Tokus Pocus and Wolfaton for supporting the show on Patreon. If you'd like to support the show, please do that at patreon.com slash phone losers. And support all the other Patreons that are mentioned in the show notes today, like Dwight and Madhouse and Olga. I think Nick Caesar's in there somewhere. And Laugh Track Matt. How could I forget Laugh Track Matt and Zax? They have a Patreon. That needs to be supported. They want to try and make it out to California, you know, since it's their meetup and everything. I'm going to put Party Time and Nick Caesar in the show notes, too. I don't know if Nick Caesar has any intention of coming up to San Jose, but that would be kind of cool if Nick Caesar made it up there because he's not too far away. If he doesn't make it up there, I'm probably just going to drive down to his house and show up and be like, hey, I'm here for dinner. So patreon.com slash party time, patreon.com slash scary art and all the other ones in the show notes. Thanks for listening, everyone. See you next time. Hello. Hi, this is AT&T. Mildred Monday is at a pay phone and wishes to make a call and bill it to your number. Is that all right? Mildred Monday. I'm Mildred Monday. No, you're not. Mildred's at the pay phone. Good afternoon, McMurray Park Apartments. This is Teresa. How can I help you? Hello. Um, I have a, I'm a tenant here. I just have a kind of a problem. Okay. Like, we, we turned our living room into a, a swimming pool. You know, we put plastic up on the walls and the floor and filled the whole thing up with water. Okay. And um, it was working good for a few weeks, but then... Um, it kind of sprung a leak over by where the oven is. So what actually did break? PLA, PLA all day. Phone 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 PLA, PLA all day. There's a YouTube channel that I watch religiously From losers of America they post prodigiously No kidding, hacking, hidden cameras, making hella calls Social engineering, Brad is catching pokeballs In the backseat of your car, and he's so very sorry He was searching for the Snorlax, so, so we scratched up your Ferrari. Ferrari Left a number on the dash, so you called him up so fast Just to have a little chat, but he's sorry, don't get mad Cactus, cactus, the house is not a pool And if you buy an iPad on the street, that's not too cool And if you work at Pizza Hut, he's got you on the camera Tell them you're from corporate and you're in there just like Santa a shopping spree, people, people get, get deceived, dude Switching off the power, people, people will believe you A blockbuster red box, we just put it in Our BCP for the win once again hey. PLA, PLA all day Phone PLA, PLA, PLA all day Phone PLA, PLA all day Phone PLA, 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 PLA,
PLA all day. PLA, PLA all day. PLA, PLA all day. PLA, PLA all day. PLA, PLA all day. They'll call you up at 1 a.m. It's on like, sorry guys, we just destroyed your lawn and can you trim your trees? And yes, I have your mail. Undercutting neighbors trying to have a yard sale. Plus, Mildred Monday, rest in peace. Calling up her next akin with jokes on Christmas Eve. And if you're acting racist on the phone, you'll be busted. Checking into Foursquare, Twitter can't be trusted. Rolling up to Walmart, picking up the phone. Pound 9801, you might get a dial tone. Pound 9802, line two, you're connected. You want house on DVD? His response is unexpected. Hey. I just wanna say thanks for YouTube's best, most creative phone pranks. In a scary time when the world is stressed and sad, thank God we got phone losers and thank God we still got Brad. Hey, PLA, PLA all day. 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 Hello, who are you holding for? Uh, electronic. Oh, that, that would be me. Uh, I wanted to see if you guys had, uh, Mark and Mindy, uh, that's on a DVD. Mark and Mindy? Yeah, Mark and Mindy. What, what, like, what are you doing? What are you, you're like, stuck in the past? Come on, watch something new, watch the program.